Chapter 3081 Dirty Race? Startled, Long Chen almost didn't have time to react. He twisted his body back and sent a fist forward. His attacker was as quick as lightning, but Long Chen's reactions were also fast. The power of his fist was heavy and concentrated. Once it struck, all that power would erupt. However, his fist ended up hitting nothing. He didn't touch his attacker's body, startling him once more. Wow, what fast reactions. It seems that you're not just bragging. Long Chen suddenly saw his attacker. There was a beautiful girl giggling at him, but she was a stranger to him. Behind her was Bei Shishi. Long Chen couldn't help frowning, but before he could say anything, the newcomer said, Don't turn hostile. Let me introduce myself. I am Lu Mingxuan, Bei Shishi's older cousin. You won't get angry with me because of this joke, right? He hadn't expected this girl to be Bei Shishi's cousin, so he was left a bit speechless. This cousin of hers really knew how to joke. Be careful. She's from the dirty race, warned Bei Shishi. Dirty race. Aya, don't listen to her nonsense. Let me tell you, I'm one of your loyal worshippers. I saw your display on the Tao discussion stage and I'm truly amazed. You're definitely the man with the greatest charisma that I've seen. Lu Mingxuan patted her chest, seemingly not noticing the huge waves occurring. Long Chen was left flabbergasted. This woman was quite relaxed to be so straightforward. In place of my little cousin, shall I ask if you want this big sister to come wait on you at night? Teased Lu Mingxuan. Cousin, Bei Shishi was unable to bear it and rebuked her. Haha, <laughs> it was just a joke. A joke. Do you have to take it so seriously? I disturbed you not just to see my idol, but because there are people outside who want to see you. Everyone's time is precious, so they can't wait too long, said Lu Mingxuan. There are more? Long Chen followed them to the living room. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Mu Qingyan were talking with two women. When Long Chen arrived, those women immediately stood and bowed toward him. Luo Bing hastily made the introductions. Long Chen. These two are my Luo family's experts. This is senior apprentice sister Luo Xue, and this is senior apprentice sister Luo Qing. Long Chen was shocked. Despite these two deliberately concealing their auras, the sharp light within their eyes and the vague runes flowing within made it seem as if they were one with heaven and earth. These two were actually powerful primals. Greetings, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Luo Xue and Luo Qing greeted Long Chen together. Both of them possessed a noble refined bearing. Senior apprentice sisters are too courteous. Witnessing the experts of the Luo family and their grace, junior brother's heart is relaxed and at ease. Long Chen cupped his fists and returned the greeting. Senior apprentice brother is a dragon amongst men. On the Tao discussion stage, you completely swept through your competition. The two of us have always greatly admired brother Long, said Luo Xue with a humble smile. Wow, if you like him so much. Why don't you directly marry him and have his children? You could research the Tao of creating people, seeing them acting so formal. Lu Mingxuan interjected herself. Cousin, Bei Shishi could not handle this older cousin of hers. Long Chen was also speechless. This girl was really unrestrained. Now he knew why Bei Shishi would say that she was from the dirty race. Luo Xue and Luo Qing were quite magnanimous, knowing that she was joking and continuing to smile. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we came to disturb you to inform you of the Chu family's matter. This time, the Chu family has sent out four powerful experts, all of them primals. They have made it known that they intend to kill you on the martial stage. Although brother Long's bravery surpasses everyone, the Chu family's people are all sinister and treacherous. They are capable of doing anything for their goals. There's no choice but to be on guard, said Luo Xue. Long Chen nodded. Don't worry, the reason that I could live to this day is because I never underestimated any opponent. Long Chen knew that he had gone over the top during the Tao discussion convention. Since Long Chen had won the championship, Luo Xue was worried that the victory would go to his head. Long Chen's guess was correct. His display was too arrogant, to the point that he looked down on everyone, that he didn't view them as even ants in his eyes. Thus, these two couldn't help warning him not to take his enemies lightly. However, after meeting Long Chen, their impression was completely different. He was acting very humble without that previous arrogance. 
nor did he have the sharp arrogance of someone who had just won the Dao discussion convention. He was like a different person. Is there any information about those four people? Asked Long Chen. Luo Xue shook her head. My apologies. Those four are kept quiet, and we were unable to get information on them. They are probably the Chu family's secret weapons. Since we know nothing about them, we feel like something is queer about them. The Chu family seems to have hidden more than we expected. Right now, within the information we know of, we only know that their names are Chu Ren, Chu Shuang, Chu Zhen, and Chu Gan. We're ashamed to say that there's no other information that we could gather. Long Chen nodded. I didn't expect the Chu family to have some ability. I hope to be able to run into them. However, with the Marshall Dao Convention being left to the Huaian Trading Company to oversee, they can no longer cheat. So we can only see if enemies really do cross paths often. Ah, that's right. Do the two of you have a place to stay? If you don't mind, you can stay here. It will be more convenient for us all to be in one play. Then we'll trouble you. Luo Xue directly agreed. They were all cultivators, so there was nothing inconvenient about it. After finishing their discussion on the important matters, the atmosphere grew relaxed. Luo Xue and Luo Qing grew familiar with everyone, and they no longer needed to have so many misjivings. Luo Xue was calm and steady, while Bei Shishi's cousin was someone who made others speechless. She often said some things that made others blush. Long Chen for someone as outstanding as you. Do you believe in love at first sight or in familiarity breeds fondness? Asked Lu Mingxuan. Long Chen hesitated, feeling like this question was actually a trap, but not finding one. He said, I feel like familiarity breeds fondness. Then it seems that your love requires a great deal of physical effort. Lu Mingxuan wore a smile that was not a smile. Isn't that too dirty? For a moment, everyone was speechless. With the addition of Lu Mingxuan, Luo Xue, and Luo Qing, this place became a bit livelier. After three days, everyone gathered, trembling with excitement. Today was the first day of the Martial Dao Convention. Upon thinking of how they would be competing against the heavenly geniuses of the nine prefectures, everyone's blood heated up Novaloon.com. Chapter 3082 Young Master Wu Ji Long Chen and the others walked through a huge spatial gate using their status tablets. Once they were through, Long Chen saw that they were on a giant island. They were surrounded by clear blue water that was the same color as the sun. The island had a giant formation over it that gave off a majestic feeling. After that, Long Chen and the others saw a plaza in front of them, and there were balls of light in it. Every ball of light had a small martial stage in it that looked like a toy. However, these balls of light possessed spatial energy, so those martial stages were definitely not as small as they appeared. There looked to be hundreds of thousands of those balls of light. They floated in the air like pretty bubbles. Today is the press election. Out of over 10 million experts, only 10,000 will remain to participate in the Marshall Dow competition. In other words, right at the start. 99% of all experts will be eliminated. Don't be careless, said Bei Shishi. Luo Xue nodded. Big sister is correct. Even now, you might encounter a supreme expert. If you lose, you'll lose your qualifications and will become nothing more than a spectator. In the worst case, you'll lose your life. There was only one chance here. Only once you got into the top 128 would you still have a chance to compete after a defeat. Here. One defeat was elimination. Long Chen looked around. This place was packed with competitors, and most of these people would be forced to become spectators watching others fight for the rewards. Long Chen then looked at the academy's disciples. Again, don't take needless risks. If the difference between you and your enemies is too great, directly admit defeat. Understood. Those disciples of the battle god palace nodded. They also knew that they were mostly here to gain experience. Long Chen, Bei Shishi, Young Master Chang Chuan, and Bei Xiaol were their main force. Long Chen looked through the crowd, wanting to see if he could find anyone familiar. But there were too many people. Furthermore, the formation blocked divine sense, preventing spiritual probing. More people appeared behind them. At this moment, Long Chen sensed countless gazes glaring at him like sharp blades. A cold smile appeared on his face. He 
there's quite a few people jealous of you. Lu Mingxuan saw countless angry glares at Long Chen and chortled. Only mediocrity doesn't draw jealousy. For boss Long San's name to spread, walking over their heads is normal, said Long Chen indifferently, ignoring those hostile gazes. The cultivation path was just like that. Someone trying to charge forward would be viewed as a competitor by others, and those people would block their path. If you didn't charge forward, people would think that you were weak and bully you, controlling everything about you. Long Chen might be skilled at discussing the Tao, but he also knew that many times, these principles were just bragging words. To rely on talking reason to survive was a complete fantasy. On the Tao discussion stage, he could use his wit to talk reason. But at the Marshall Dow Convention, he could only use his fists to beat reason into others. Suddenly, Long Chen smelled a burst of fragrance. He saw Lu Mingxuan frown and stare irritably at a group of people walking over. What bad luck! How did I encounter that fellow? muttered Lu Mingxuan. Long Chen looked at that group. There was an extremely white faced man with a fan in his hand, and over ten women with heavy makeup surrounded him like stars surrounding the moon. They were chattering amongst themselves, seemingly treating the surrounding people as nothing more than empty space, as if they were blessing others simply by existing. They're so arrogant? Just who is that fellow? asked Long Chen. This was his first time seeing people being so high profile. His name is Jiang Wuji, and he calls himself Young Master Wuji. One, the meaning being someone who can go on a rampage without any scruples, as no one can touch him. He is the grandson of the Flower Butterfly School's leader, and he will be the one to inherit that position in the future. He is already very talented, but adding on the full resources of the Flower Butterfly School, he is truly powerful. We encountered him on our way to the Nine Prefecture Convention. His mouth is really dirty. He provoked us and we ended up fighting, but his techniques were extremely insidious. I didn't dare to fight him directly, and so I had to run. That fellow will probably come over because of me. Long Chen, you have to stand up for me, said Lu Mingxuan. Why would I need to stand up for you? You have such a strong cousin. Why not ask her to stand up for you? Long Chen shook his head. This Lu Mingxuan was truly a little sprite, and he didn't want to suffer from a moment of carelessness. Just at this moment, that young master Wuji came over with his escort of women, fanning himself. He didn't even look at Long Chen. Instead, his gaze swept over Bei Shishi, Luo Bing, and the others before finally resting on Lu Mingxuan. Haha, <laughs> Lady Lu, we meet again. Last time I felt that we had destiny, but now you even brought me so many other beauties. It seems that I have good luck with women that smile of his was truly lecherous, and he didn't cover it up in the slightest. It was as if everyone else present didn't enter his eyes. Idiot. I have no destiny with you. Do you see? This is the champion of the Tao discussion convention. He's my current man. If you have guts, go challenge him. Lu Mingxuan grabbed Long Chen's arm, intentionally acting very intimate. Long Chen sighed speechlessly. This was precisely what he had been expecting. She was using him as a shield. Young Master Wuji's gaze finally turned to Long Chen, eyeing him up and down. He sneered. What's so great about a man who relies on a glib tongue? Who said that? It's not just his mouth that's amazing. Even his tongue is agile. He has plenty of good areas. So just try and challenge him. Exclaimed Lu M. Inksuan. Long Chen was speechless. This Lu Mingxuan truly dared to say anything. Even he, as a man, was unable to endure it. An amazing tongue? I don't believe it. In this world, no one is greater than my young master said one of the women around young master Wuji, coiling around him. That's right. He dares to compete with the young master? Does he know he's humiliating himself? A beggar like this is disgusting. The pretty women around young master Wuji started to insult Long Chen. Scram. Seeing their incredibly fawning act over young master Wuji, Bei Shishi finally couldn't bear it any longer, and killing intent exploded out of her. She had an urge to kill all of them. Her prideful nature made her look down on women who lived off of men. So these women were particularly disgusting to her. If it wasn't forbidden to fight here, she'd have long since attacked. You want me to scram? Are you qualified young master Wuji sneered, his eyes shamelessly examining Bei Shishi's face. 
Beishishi's gaze instantly turned ice cold. Her hand slowly reached for the sword hilt on her waist. 1. Wuji equals no scruples. No fears. Chapter 3083 Stopping Pain Stop. Why argue with a dog? Long Chen grabbed Bei Shishi. If they fought here, they would be immediately expelled. Right now, the entire convention was being managed by the Huaian Trading Company. They would strictly enforce the rules to be fair. This young master Wuji had clearly come just to cause trouble. Who knew whether he was intentionally trying to bait Bei Shishi into attacking to expel her? Who are you calling a dog? Demanded one of the women beside young master Wuji. A dog surrounded by bitches in heat. Are you going to do the deed right here for everyone to see? Sneered Lu Mingxuan. Those women were all infuriated. But on the other hand, young master Wuji simply smiled and indifferently said, A hairless boy and little girls don't know anything about the joy between people. You're simply envious of this young master. Haha, <laughs> young master, my elbow hurts said one of his women fawningly. Young Master Wuji kissed her elbow. Does it still hurt? It doesn't hurt. Aya, my neck hurts. Young Master kissed her again. Does it still hurt? No. The woman smiled, her voice so limp that it caused other people's goosebumps to rise. As she said this, she looked at Beishishi and the others. Seeing Beishishi's furious gaze made her even more pleased with herself. Clearly, they had come knowing Beishishi's character and were intent on infuriating her. If she did lose control, she would lose her qualifications to attend the competition. Long Chen stared in shock at young master Wuji. Brother you really are a god. You can stop pain with just a kiss? Can I ask? Does this work with hemorrhoids? Beishishi's rising fury popped with a laugh. Luo Bing and the others also laughed. Only Long Chen didn't laugh. Instead maintaining his expression of shock and awe, he seemed intent on seeking medical treatment. Young Master Wuji's expression finally sank. Clearly, he was not completely impervious to provocation. The main point was whether or not you could find a place to strike where it hurt. Who do you think you are? What qualifications do you have to speak to this young master? Sneered Young Master Wuji. Who do you think you are? What qualifications do you have to speak to this champion? demanded Long Chen disdainfully. Ha ha ha, Lu Mingxuan laughed, intentionally loud just for Long Chen's act. Bei Ziaol interjected, exactly, some dog shit young master that crawled out of some hole dares to challenge the champion of the Dao discussion convention? I don't know who gave you that courage Bei Ziaol had been angered the entire time but had never found a chance to counterattack. But as soon as Long Chen mentioned that he was the champion, he found a chance to retaliate. Long Chen was the champion of the Dao discussion convention. That glory couldn't be forgotten. Exactly. Other than pissing yourself. How are you better than senior apprentice brother Long Chen? Sneered one of the Battle God Palace's disciples Novaloon.com You can't put it like that. Young Master Wuji has his own specialties. At the very least. In terms of healing hemorrhoids. No one else can beat him. Even the ever silent young master Chang Chuan joined in. This surprised everyone. They hadn't expected him to be able to say such words. So they laughed. You, young master Wuji was infuriated. However, it was clear that he felt some fear when it came to young master Changchuan. He hesitated. But in the end, he forcibly swallowed his words. While he didn't dare to say anything, the women beside him cursed them like vixens on the street. However, their cursing was clearly a sign of weakness and it didn't draw anyone's anger. Long Chen and the others looked at them like kings watching a performance. Young Master Wuji then looked at Long Chen. It seemed that he wanted to say something, but he couldn't find any good words. In the end, all he said was, Long Chen, there are many people who want your life here. I pray that you don't die too soon, because I want to personally kill you. No need to be courteous. I don't need other people to pray for me. But as for you, it seems that you've drawn in too much yin chi. I pray that you live a long life of a hundred years, said Long Chen indifferently. Outside the cultivation world, in the mortal world, such a saying was a blessing. But in the cultivation world, it was clearly cursing someone to die soon because a hundred years was nothing to a cultivator. In the immortal world, if they weren't killed or didn't meet some calamity, people would live thousands of years as long as their cultivation base was high enough. Thus, in the immortal world, 
There was no such thing as a long life of a hundred years. If they only lived to a hundred, how could it count as a long life? So this novel phrase drew out Lu Mingxuan and the others' laughter. We'll see. Hopefully, your abilities with your hands can match the power of your mouth, sneered young master Wuji. He didn't bother to conceal his killing intent. He, Long Chen doesn't like men, so you won't get to experience it. Lu Mingxuan wrapped her arms around Long Chen and giggled. Long Chen almost throttled her. This seemingly pretty girl was so dirty that it had reached the realm of making ghosts cry and gods weep. No wonder Baisha she said that she was from the dirty race. She had reached the pinnacle of this realm. Even Luo Bing and the others didn't understand at first and only realized what she meant when they saw her smile. Young Master Wu Ji's expression sank. He pointed at Long Chen, wanting to say something but unable to think of anything to say. He then left with his people quickly being drowned out in the crowd. Watching him leave, everyone laughed as if they had won. As for Long Chen, he irritably shook off Lu Mingxuan's arms. Lu Mingxuan laughed. A man should be magnanimous. I heard that anger isn't very good for certain parts of a man. You should be careful of this. Seeing his disdainful gaze, Lu Mingxuan laughed and said, I heard that the seven emotions are connected to the five organs. Anger hurts the liver. Were you thinking of something else? How dirty-minded. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. She had clearly been the one to wink and intentionally make people think of that dirty thing. Yet now she acted innocent and pure. It's Chu Ren, exclaimed Luo Xue suddenly. What Luo Xue looked into the crowd. Just now, I was keeping an eye on young master Wu Ji, but I still lost track of him. But I did see a woman by his side talking to Chu Ren. I'm sure of it. Long Chen looked in the same direction. The crowd was too packed, so he wasn't able to see who was who at all. Clearly, Luo Xue had her own special abilities to see further. Even through this formation, she was able to see some things that other people were unable to see. Young Master Wu Ji is one of the Chu family's henchmen, asked Bei Shishi, a bit astonished. Chapter 3084 The preliminaries commence it's unlikely. The flower butterfly school's cultivation techniques are rather shameful. Although they have quite a bit of fame, not many sects like to interact with them. There's nothing in our information that indicates that the flower butterfly school is part of the Chu family's subordinates. Most likely, young master Wu Ji was simply baited into coming to provoke us by Chu Ren. Considering big sister Ming Xuan and his past encounter, as well as Long Chen becoming the most famous figure at the Nine Prefecture Convention. With just a few words, Chu Ren could easily bait young master Wu Ji into coming over, said Luo Xue. Long Chen nodded inside. The Luo family was the Chu family's mortal enemy. Both sides had information on the other. Collecting intel was a priority, so there shouldn't be a mistake. Just looking at young master Wu Ji, it was clear that he was a brainless, spoiled brat. It was easy for someone to bait him into one of their schemes. Hence, Luo Zhu's deduction was most likely correct. Just at this moment, the plaza quivered and an elder appeared at the center. The elder introduced himself. This martial Dao convention was now being carried out by the Huaian Trading Company due to Long Chen. Normally, the Huaian Trading Company was only in charge of storing the convention's prizes and resources. So this elder humbly introduced himself saying that he had no experience in this regard. He hoped for everyone to forgive him if he made any mistakes. When that elder appeared, he caused countless cheers to ring out. They didn't need this elder to talk about being the champion or stirring them up with talk about the prizes. What they wanted was a fair martial competition with no cheaters. For this elder from the Huaian Trading Company to appear meant that there would be no cheating from now on. The Huaian Trading Company's golden reputation was something that no one doubted. The elder also hadn't expected such an ardent reception. Hence, he once more bowed and thanked everyone. Rather than trying to impress everyone with talk of prizes or fame, he directly announced the start of the drawing of lots for battles. However, this drawing of lots wasn't done by the disciples themselves. Everyone had been placed into a draw when they registered. Everyone's names were written on jade tablets, and they now spun in a giant ball. As the ball spun, those tens of millions of jade tablets swirled around. Suddenly, all of them stuck together in pairs. At the same time, 
Everyone's tablets lit up. Gu Shangguang. 1. Long Chen looked at his tablet. A name had appeared there, and that was his opponent. His own name would have appeared on the opponent's tablet as well. Long Chen then vanished, appearing on a martial stage. This martial stage was 3,000 square meters, and there was a barrier of light blocking their sight outside. This place was its own world. Now, the competition had started. A bald man with two large hatchets on his back appeared in front of Long Chen. That was his opponent. His head really is bright. Long Chen thought to himself that his opponent's name really suited him. Long Chen, is it? Taste my hatchet. The bald man roared, his blood chi erupting. He then charged at Long Chen like a wild bull. His aura was powerful, as he was at the ninth vestige of the Divine Flame Realm. Thank you, but I don't eat those things. Long Chen unleashed a single punch. As a result, that large man's arm shuddered. The webbing between his thumb and forefinger split open, and blood flowed out. He was sent flying. His hatchets fell to the ground in front of him. After that, he was shocked to find that their heads had been broken. With one punch, Long Chen had broken his weapons. I admit defeat. The large man hastily cried out, knowing that the power difference was too great. He admitted defeat to save his life. Long Chen returned to his original location. Bei Shishi, Lu Mingxuan, Luo Bing, and all the others had also returned. They also had an easy time. Ha ha ha, my opponent was way too weak. He couldn't even see me, so I just knocked him out, said Bei Ziaol, very pleased with himself. Don't be too pleased. Even if it's just the preliminaries, you can still encounter a supreme expert. Not every fight will be so easy, said Bei Shishi coldly. On the other hand, Long Chen patted Bei Ziaol on the shoulder. Don't listen to her. If you're happy, then smile. If you're pleased, then show it. Even if you hold everything in, spending all day with such a bitter expression, no one will give you a single immortal crystal. Bei Ziaol's expression, which had just fallen due to Bei Shishi's words, once more lit up. Ha <laughs> ha. Brother-in-law is correct are you getting itchy for a beating? Raged Bei Shishi. I'm talking about Sister Minxuan. What does it have to do with you? Boss already said that he won't let you obtain him in this lifetime. Don't get any wild dreams. Said Bei Ziaol. Hiding behind Long Chen fearlessly. Hearing that, Lu Minxuan laughed without saying anything. But Bei Shishi was incensed. Just at this moment, the giant ball once more spun and their names flowed randomly again. Long Chen was startled. The first round is over already. It had only been less than half an incense stick's worth of time. But everyone was already done fighting? It's according to the rules. If people can't beat their opponent within a set time, they'll both be eliminated. In the past, some people with hidden goals sent people to stall their opponents. They used water, earth, and wood cultivators with strong defensive and control abilities to stall them, and then they both got eliminated. It's truly difficult to deal with. Without senior apprentice brother Long Chen here, such a thing would have continued to happen. 99% of the nine prefecture convention's competitors have to thank you, said Luo Shue. What a sinister scheme. If those powers behind the scenes sensed someone that could threaten them, they would send experts specialized in stalling just so that they could both be eliminated. In the end, the rewards would be obtained by their own people. Although Long Chen had known that the Nine Prefecture Convention would be controlled by people, it was his first time hearing of such a thing. So that's the case. Does that mean that the lots were also controlled by them? Asked one of the Battle God Palace's disciples. Of course, they wouldn't let one of their own people encounter their allies. They just slowly had their enemies wiped out, said Luo Shue. How sinister, sighed that person. At the very least, now we're all enjoying a fair competition. Being able to use your own abilities and luck to compete with other heavenly geniuses is its own pleasure, said Luo Shue with a smile. Just at this moment, the second round started. Before getting to look at the name of his opponent, Long Chen arrived on the martial stage 1, Gu Shangguang. Shangguang equals mountain light. Presumably, he means that his bald head is like a bright mountain. Chapter 3085 Infuriating Provocation Long Chen. As soon as Long Chen entered, he heard a startled cry from the other side. Boom. Following that, the earth lit up with runes. 
Giant wall sword out and enveloped Long Chen. Ha ha ha. Long Chen. You will go no further in this competition that person laughed. And the earth walls began to fold in. Forming layers and layers. Suddenly. That person spat out a mouthful of blood. His hands turned scarlet. And he slammed them on the earth. Dense blood runes covered the earth and walls. The entire martial stage was sealed shot. Who cares about the champion of the Tao discussion convention? You cut us off from our profits. You'll be able to leave today. But tomorrow your corpse will appear in the wilderness. That person smiled sinisterly. His bloodline power was gushing out. Strengthening the earth and walls. This person's talent was decent. But he could only count as above average amongst the competitors. Even so. He had used self-damaging secret arts. Sacrificing his own essence blood to use a forbidden technique. Even a top expert wouldn't be able to break free in a short time. He was one of those chess pieces that Luo Shue had mentioned who specialized in delaying people until they were eliminated. As soon as he saw Long Chen, he thought of how to delay Long Chen until the time was up. These people were specially raised chess pieces. If he could delay Long Chen until he was eliminated, he would have contributed huge merit and be given a shocking reward. It had to be known that Long Chen was a thorn in the side of certain people. Whoever could kick him out would gain both fame and fortune. So that person immediately sacrificed his own essence blood just to stall Long Chen. Ha ha ha. That person seemed to already be able to see immense fortune falling into his hands and he laughed. Feeling extremely pleased. What's so funny? Why don't you tell me so that I can share in your delight? A hand patted him on the shoulder. Shocked. That person turned around to see Long Chen smiling at him. At some point, Long Chen had escaped from his prison, and he hadn't noticed at all. You. He was only able to spit out a single word. Bang his body suddenly exploded, transforming into blood mist. Long Chen seemed to have long since expected this to happen and had already dodged to the side. Foolish child. You didn't realize just how dangerous forbidden arts were. You can't get distracted. Or if you lose control, your body can explode Long Chen was sent out. At that time, everyone else was back as well. Seeing him return, Luo Bing and the other side with relief. They had thought that he had encountered some terrifying opponent. Was your opponent very strong? Asked Bei Shishi curiously. No, it was one of those troublemakers that Miss Luo Shua mentioned. It was a rare chance. So I wanted to see what he would do before killing him, said Long Chen. So that was what had happened. They were also curious as to that person's abilities. So Long Chen gave a simple explanation. How vicious. Sacrificing such a huge amount of essence blood would take at least three years to recover from. Their talent isn't that great. They're like death warriors that their sects raised. If they do manage to do their job, their sects will set them up to live comfortably for the rest of their life. They can simply entrust their hopes to their children, said Lu Mingxuan. She seemed to have a greater understanding of these people. Let me warn you, if you can beat your opponent in one move, don't use a second move. It would be alright if you could kill your opponent, but if you couldn't, your moves would be transmitted to everyone. Some people will immediately send out reports about the people that defeated them, including their attributes, fighting style, strengths, and weaknesses. They'll sell it for a high price. In such a high pace knockout competition, does that information have any use? Asked one of the experts from the Battle God Palace. Of course it does. They won't do it right now. They'll wait until the preliminaries are over to sell the information on those that make it through. If you do get through, there will definitely be someone selling information on you. Especially for experts like Long Chen, Shishi, and young master Chang Chuan. Just think. If every one of your opponents survives and sells a bit of information on your fighting style, when the real challenge comes, won't you be seen through by your opponent said Lu Mingxuan. That person stared at her for a moment before bitterly smiling. It seems that I was worried about nothing. I actually thought that other people would record things about me. That person drew out quite a bit of laughter from the battle god palace's experts. People like them weren't worth other people recording. Just now. I exchanged over 30 blows with my opponent before narrowly beating him. As the knockout stage continues, the experts will only get stronger. The chances of managing to eke out a victory through luck will drop. 
said another expert of the battle god palace. That's right. My first opponent wasn't very powerful, but the second one was already difficult. I don't know how many more rounds I'll last, sighed another. Those who could come here were all experts, but only after arriving here did they find just how small they were. Don't worry, we have Long Chen. When he gets hard, he can lift up the heavens, comforted Lu Mingxuan. But this comforting sounded extremely odd in other people's ears. Can you talk a bit more cleanly asked Long Chen. Perhaps these words might not sound bad in other people's mouths, but when they came out of Lu Mingxuan's mouth, they always sounded off. I was once very pure, said Lu Mingxuan. You were once pure, asked Long Chen in disbelief. Yes, a long time ago, I still thought that the chrysanthemum was just a flower, sighed Lu Mingxuan. One, Long Chen rolled his eyes while Luo Bing and the others clearly didn't understand what she was saying, but they all knew that nothing good came from this dirty girl's mouth. The next lots were drawn, and the third knockout round soon started. Long Chen's opponent was a woman this time, not waiting for her to make a move. He directly used lightning steps to appear behind her and knocked her out, once more winning. This time, he returned first. Then it was Bei Shishi, Bei Ziaol, Young Master Chang Chuan and the others. Bei Ziaol's spatial energy made it so that his opponent didn't even see him before he knocked them out. It was practically cheating. Lu Mingxuan, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Luo Xue, Luo Qing, Mu Qingyan, and the others all returned one after another. Then it was the experts of the battle god palace. Just then, one of them returned and collapsed to the ground. He was already dead and a dagger was stuck in his head with the immortal character of Chu carved into it. Chu family everyone was enraged one. Chrysanthemum is a slang for anus? Chapter 3086 Vicious Long Chen's expression turned cold. The Chu family really was skilled. They actually knew that this person was from the High Firmament Academy. It went without saying that the host had given them their registration list and now anyone that was enemies with the High Firmament Academy knew the names of their disciples. When they saw the names, they would immediately launch a killing blow without giving Long Chen and the others a chance to concede. This dagger was a war challenge to them and also to Long Chen. Although he had been prepared from the start, seeing this dagger still caused his anger to soar. He had an urge to find the Chu family's people within the crowd and kill them all. Seeing Long Chen's furious state, even Lu Mingxuan was so scared that she didn't dare to say anything. As for the Battle God Palace's people, as they returned one by one, seeing their slain comrade infuriated them. If they were killed, they could only say that their power was inferior to the other side. But to stab a dagger into a person's forehead like this, it was clear that the other side wanted to humiliate them. Sorry, we implicated you. Luo Xue apologized, sighing. It has nothing to do with the Luo family. The Chu family tried to sneak into the academy and observe us. This is the enmity between us, said Bei Shishi. Although on the surface it appeared as if the Chu family was targeting the academy because of the Luo family, the reality wasn't so simple. You should all retreat now. After a moment of silence, Bei Shishi turned to those battle god palace disciples. We, those disciples were shocked and angered. If they retreated now, it would be an even greater disgrace to them. They weren't afraid of death. Don't say anything. Fairy Shishi is the leader, and we have to listen to her, said a dark-faced disciple amongst them. This disciple rarely spoke. Big Brother Zhao those disciples couldn't help being aggrieved. This Big Brother Zhao was the strongest amongst them, as well as the one with the greatest prestige. They had no choice but to listen to him. These are the orders. Don't distract Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. Because of us, Big Brother Zhao looked at Long Chen. Only then did they pay attention. Long Chen's expression was shockingly dark. The chilling killing intent made the people closest to him shiver. They hadn't expected Long Chen's reaction to be even greater than theirs. They didn't know what to say. So they fell silent. Long Chen, calm down. The Chu family is doing this on purpose to anger us, said Luo Xue. They've succeeded Long Chen nodded. He understood that it was intentional and that getting angry was falling for their trap but he couldn't stop himself. Now the battle god palace's disciples understood why Bei Shishi wanted them to leave. 
Long Chen was unable to tolerate this kind of provocation. If this continued, all of them would be used to repeatedly provoke Long Chen. In comparison, they were far too weak. It would be all too easy for their opponents to instantly kill them without giving them a chance to concede. Although it was a blow to their confidence, they had no choice but to admit that they were lacking compared to those top experts. Giving up was the wisest choice for Long Chen and the others. The battle god palace's tablets turned dark, their runes shattering. This indicated that they had given up. Don't worry, the glory of the High Firmament Academy will be upheld by us in your place, said Bezayol. He felt bad seeing these people give up, so he patted his chest. Long Chen, you have to calm down. With your blood chi circulating so quickly, your judgment will be affected if you encounter an expert, said Lu Mingxuan. It had just been an ordinary disciple who had died. She didn't know why he was so incredibly angry. After all, that person was not his friend or family. Long Chen shook his head. It's fine. Anger will only cause my power to increase. I also don't know why I'm so angry. Perhaps I raised my realm too quickly. Don't worry, I think it might get better after killing a few people. Just at this moment, the next round started. Long Chen once more appeared on a martial stage. As soon as he arrived, he shot forward, transforming into a phantom. He then grabbed his opponent's throat. That person had just appeared, and before he even saw Long Chen, he was caught. He didn't even have a chance to concede Novaloon.com Long Chen eyed that person. After a moment, he slowly let go. That person was absolutely terrified, thinking that he was definitely dead. But Long Chen let him off. Only then did he see Long Chen's face, and he hastily kowtowed. Many thanks instructor Long Chen for not killing me. This person admitted defeat and left. He didn't even realize that in that instant, his soul was already captured by Long Chen's gaze. Long Chen returned. Lu Mingxuan, Bei Shishi, and the others also returned. They exchanged a look and shook their heads. The atmosphere was a bit heavy, and no one said anything. The battle god palace's disciples had given up, but they could still stay here and observe the rest of the battles. Half an incense sticks worth of time later. The next round started. Long Chen once more appeared on the martial stage and attacked in an instant, subduing his opponent immediately. Runes revolved in Long Chen's eyes. He forcibly searched through this person's memories. I found it. Long Chen snorted and his spiritual strength erupted. A spiritual sword then stabbed through that person's mind, causing his head to explode. A large number of memories entered Long Chen's mind. Long Chen returned and finally smiled. Seeing him smile, Bei Shishi and the others also smiled. I've obtained some names. I'll share them with you, said Long Chen. I've also found some people targeting us. I'll share them with everyone, said Luo Shue. This time, three people amongst their opponents were part of the group targeting the High Firmament Academy. They all had the list of names of the High Firmament Academy's disciples. Through forceful soul searches, Long Chen and the others could rip out the list of their people. That way they could kill each other. This kind of soul sark was simple and crude. Since these memories were not sect secrets, there were no spiritual seals protecting them, and that made them easy to find. At this time, the only ones participating in the competition were Long Chen, Bei Shishi, Young Master Changchun, Bei Xiaol, Lu Mingxuan, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Luo Xue, Luo Qing, and Mu Qingyan. They were all experts. Although Luo Bing and Luo Ning were a bit weaker in comparison, as long as they didn't encounter any supreme experts, they should have no problem. Even if they did encounter a supreme expert, they at least had the power to admit defeat first. Following this, they began killing their opponents. Long Chen would always check his opponent's memories. As long as it was an enemy, he would do a berserk soul sark to grab the list of his opponent's allies. Long Chen. We seem to have been targeted Lu Mingxuan stealthily whispered to Long Chen. He looked around and sensed countless gazes full of killing intent. Long Chen smiled and raised his fist. The middle finger raised high. Kids, come and fight. Chapter 3087 Past the qualifiers all of those people were glaring at Long Chen with killing intent. They had definitely sensed something. Long Chen had killed seven experts targeting the High Firmament Academy. As for Bei Shishi and the others. They had done the same.
for so many of their people to have died. The other side must have sensed something. They quickly realized that it was done by Long Chen. Long Chen's middle finger was clearly telling them that it was precisely done by him. However, this place was huge. With the formation blocking spiritual probing, they could only see the closest people, and the people in the distance couldn't see them. But even just these close by people had quite a few hostile powers amongst them. Since that was the case, it was unknown just how many powers were targeting them throughout the entire plaza. I really didn't expect that the High Firmament Academy would be targeted by so many people. We already know the names of over a hundred powers and twenty thousand people. There are still many more that we haven't encountered. He, for some reason, I'm starting to get excited, laughed Lu Mingxuan. It seemed that making a ruckus was very delightful to her. Long Chen, your mood seems to have improved. That killing intent in your eyes has also faded, said Luo Xue with a smile. Long Chen nodded but he quickly had a startling thought. He recalled the dragon expert's words. His purgatory eyes were nourished by negative thoughts. They had already awakened. Although they had been sealed, the dragon expert had said that its energy was constantly growing. It couldn't be sealed forever. The purgatory eyes were also called the eyes of slaughter. Only through killing could their energy be released. And only then could he expel his negative emotions and remain clear-headed. When that disciple of the battle god palace was slain, he also didn't know why his anger would erupt so crazily. But after killing a few enemies, his anger faded, and his mood could even be said to be good. This current state was a warning. His purgatory eyes had been sealed for a long time and even some minor things were starting to provoke his desire to kill. In the High Firmament Academy, he had immersed himself in cultivation, and although he had felt some minor changes in his temper, it hadn't been this obvious. Due to Chu Yang's repeated provocations, his anger had soared. But then he had killed all the experts of the various powers in the Jilin Immortal Land, slaughtering all their disciples and even destroying the Golden Bell Gate. According to reason, his purgatory eyes should have been satisfied. Here in the Nine Prefecture Convention, he felt that something was a bit off. He seemed even easier to anger. Several times, he had forcibly put on a smile and taunted his enemies with words in reply to their provocations. But in reality, he had wanted to kill them all. Today, Luo Zhu's random words made him feel that his purgatory eyes might be related to his cultivation base. After returning from the Jilin Immortal Land, his cultivation base had grown crazily. Perhaps this was related. Long Chen, what are you thinking? Are you afraid? Teased Lu Mingxuan. Other than you, when have I ever been afraid of anyone else? Said Long Chen. What are you afraid of me for? Asked Lu Mingxuan with a wink. Long Chen looked at her, and in the end, he didn't dare to say anything. This seemingly pretty girl might once more drag him through the dirt with her next words. Just at this moment, the next round started. But this time... His opponent managed to dodge his instantaneous attack. However, he had just dodged when Long Chen's fist struck him. The immense power shook the martial stage, and both that person's arms broke. He coughed up blood. Long Chen grabbed his neck. However, after a moment, he let that person go. This wasn't someone targeting the High Firmament Academy. Many thanks for your mercy, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Having narrowly escaped death. That person hastily thanked Long Chen and admitted defeat. That person was truly powerful. His aura hadn't even been fully unleashed. And just with his physical body, he managed to survive Long Chen's punch. He was definitely an expert. But unfortunately, he had encountered Long Chen. This was one of the rules of the Martial Dao Convention. They had to be in an ordinary state when they entered. If they were already in battle state, they wouldn't be brought in. If they had to then suppress their aura before entering, then their enemy would already be in and have already entered combat state. Then they might be instantly defeated. However, by relying on his powerful physical body, Long Chen didn't need to accumulate power like that. He could directly attack, and so he had a small advantage over his opponents. Bei Shishi and the others all returned. All of them looked at each other curiously. This time, they didn't encounter any experts. The next round started and they defeated some opponents, but they didn't encounter any of their enemies. According to reason, with people being knocked out, 
they should have higher chances of encountering their enemies. That was because those sects that had often dominated the competition were all very powerful. It seems that just like us, they made their weaker members give up, said Luo Shue. Everyone nodded. Her deduction was accurate, but she also gave some face to the Battle God Palace's disciples, calling them weaker members and not cannon fodder. After all, they weren't fools. Their disciples came from powerful backgrounds, and as long as they said where they were from, their opponents wouldn't dare to kill them. For so many of them to have still died and so violently with their heads exploding, it was a clear sign of a forceful soul sark. Hence, it was definitely done by Long Chen and the others. However, Long Chen was a bit surprised. Not every sect targeting them should have sensed it. There should still be more that they hadn't encountered. But even after two rounds, they hadn't encountered any of them. Hence, Long Chen started to suspect that these people had secret communication means. Although everything was now left to the Huaian Trading Company to oversee, they were in charge of only the convention. There were definitely other means for those people to communicate secretly. After another round, Long Chen and the others returned safe and sound, except for Luo Ning who returned injured. She was covered in blood. She had clearly encountered a tough opponent. Furthermore, based on her state, it was most likely one of their enemies. Luo Ning managed to trade an injury for a chance to kill her opponent, but she didn't manage to do a soul sark. Luo Ning, very good. The remaining enemies are no longer cannon fodder. They all possess the power to aim for the top hundred. For you to kill him proves that you're powerful, praised Long Chen. Luo Ning's mood, which had been a bit down due to her injury, improved. Just at this moment, a bell rang. Luo Ning smiled, although it's within expectations. Congratulations everyone. We've all managed to get into the top 10,000 of the Martial Dao competition. Chapter 3088 Martial Heaven Old Friend The sound of that bell signified that the knockout stage was over. Of over 90 million people, only 10,000 remained. There were people cheering but some of them were also silent. A lot of people had been eliminated, so they were unable to be happy. Every person had their own dreams. Before coming. They had all been looking forward to their future accomplishments, striving for glory for their sects, their families. But the reality was cruel. Glory belonged only to the very few. Some people were unable to accept failure and wept on the ground. Perhaps those people were just a little bit away from passing but had ultimately still failed. How shameful. Bezayol couldn't help mumbling to himself when he saw those people crying. Long Chen shook his head and sighed. We aren't qualified to laugh at people who did everything they could but still failed. Reality is cruel. Crying is just a way to release their emotions. Not that they've given up. Just as he said this, the closest person crying stood up in front of countless disdainful gazes and walked away. After getting hurt, after enduring pain, after crying, it's time to wipe away the tears and continue onward. True men all carry their own burdens. They don't resent fate for being unfair. They don't blame others for being uncaring toward them. Even if this world hurts them 99 times, they will still dare to embrace this world for the hundredth time, still believing that this world is beautiful and loving it. Such men are real warriors. Long Chen looked at that person's back. Long Chen seemed to see himself on the martial heaven continent. At that time, he had also been hurt and cried. He had been all alone within the darkness, growing up surrounded by insults and mocking. At that moment, he had also been unable to see any light but still believed that this world was full of sunlight. The darkness in front of him was due to others blocking the sunlight. As long as he passed through the enemies before him, the dark clouds would part and he would feel the world's warmth. The precondition was that everything would require his own work. Long Chen's words moved Bei Shishi and the others. His words enlightened them to another way to view the world. Hence, they looked at him more closely. The look in his eyes was like that of a transcendent sage. Even his broken down clothes didn't cover up that grand air. The current Long Chen was like a completely different existence. Just before this, he had looked like a devil king that descended upon the world. The visual contrast between the two sides of the coin shook their hearts. It was both a dangerous and novel feeling that made people unable to resist being curious. After all their time with him. They knew him to be a fearless expert who didn't bully the weak. 
Sometimes he was humble and polite. Sometimes he was incredibly arrogant. When he was humble, he was like a modest scholar. But when he was arrogant, he was like a local rogue. They were unable to figure out which one was his real self. Wow. As expected of the champion of the Tao discussion convention. All your words have length. Praised Lu Mingxuan. It's depth. Corrected Bei Shishi. He's a man. How can he have depth? Said Lu Mingxuan. Bei Shishi turned red with anger and bashfulness. She just knew that this dirty girl would have dirt in her words somewhere. Long Chen was speechless. As expected, her words always had traps. They couldn't be jumped into without care. He had also almost corrected her but had managed to endure. In the end, it was Bei Shishi who inadvertently jumped in. Just as Bei Shishi reached out to grab this cousin of hers, Lu Mingxuan laughed and hid behind Long Chen. She then stuck her tongue out at Bei Shishi, who immediately stopped chasing. Everyone's moods were good as they left. Although this was just the first step, it was still worth celebrating. After all, 99% of people had been eliminated. They squeezed through the crowds and entered the transportation gate, once more returning to their residence. On the way, quite a few experts glared at them hostily and intentionally gestured insultingly at them. Today, Long Chen ignored them. Some people want to die. You can't stop them no matter what you do. Ba San, there's quite a bit of information here on those who passed. I'll give you a copy. Thank you for your Tao discussion. You fought for us youngsters to give us a fair competition just at this moment. A man suddenly ran over and held out several jade tablets to Long Chen. Bei Shishi and the others were stunned. He was directly sending these things to Long Chen for free? It had to be known that tomorrow would be the day that they fought for the top 500. Anyone who had gotten into the top 10,000 would have information on them that would sell for quite a bit of money. That man looked at Long Chen worshipfully. But Long Chen didn't take his jade tablets. He patted him on the shoulder. Brother, thank you, but I don't need these things. True experts need absolute confidence in themselves. They must rely on martial power when it comes to real fights. Relying on schemes will lead you down the wrong path. That man stared at Long Chen for a moment before nodding. Ba San, you are truly a hero. Peerless amongst these heavenly geniuses. You disdain gathering information on others. Long Chen smiled slightly. He disdained being some hero, but he really was unable to bother gathering information on his enemies. After all, this wasn't some grand war where both sides were equally matched and that the decisive difference would be their strategy. In a one against one, he didn't fear any of his competitors. Although he didn't accept this information, Long Chen was still grateful to that person, so he gave him a medicinal pill. That person was delighted and repeatedly thanked Long Chen before leaving. They then returned to their residence and began meditating. Entering their peak condition, the Battle God Palace's disciples stood guard for them. After all, tomorrow would be even more difficult. Everyone had to be in top condition. Luo Ning in particular had been injured and only had one night to recover. However, she actually fully recovered in just two hours with Long Chen's medicinal pill. All that was left was preserving their top condition. Long Chen returned to his room and continued studying the world extermination lightning radiance. But here in Silver Moon City, he didn't dare to unleash his lightning. He could only study it in his heart and make calculations. Just at that moment, someone knocked on his door. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, there's someone outside asking to see you. He says he is an old friend from the Martial Heaven continent upon hearing that. Long Chen's heart pounded and he immediately rushed out. He saw a man with a saber on his back. When that man saw Long Chen, tears overflowed from his eyes. Boss, it really is you. Chapter 3089 Dragonblood Warrior Chin Feng Chin Feng Long Chen's eyes also reddened. He immediately embraced this person. He was a Dragonblood Warrior from the first course, led by Gu Yang. There were over 10,000 Dragonblood Warriors. But Long Chen knew every single one of their names. They were all his brothers. To meet again in the immortal world, everything came back to him in a flash. At that time, the light of extermination had fallen upon the Martial Heaven continent. Everyone had thought that they were dead. Chin Feng was the same. When he woke up, his intuition told him that everyone else was the same and hadn't died. They had to have ascended to the immortal world. Reuniting today. 
Both these hot-blooded men wept. This disturbance drew out Beishishi, Luo Bing, and the others, and they didn't dare to believe their eyes. Good brother, don't cry. In the future, all the Dragonblood Legion will be together again. We'll flip the immortal world on its head. After calming down, Long Chen patted Qin Feng's shoulder. Qin Feng also calmed himself down and nodded. I miss our brothers. The Dragonblood warriors had fought through life and death for many years. Now, they were all separated and it was unknown if they were alive or dead. Hence, Long Chen felt just the same as Qin Feng. They believed that the others felt the same as well. Let's go talk inside. Long Chen invited Qin Feng in and introduced him to Bei Shishi and the others. When they learned that Qin Feng had also passed through the knockout stage, they were shocked. It had to be known that Qin Feng's current cultivation base was only at the sixth vestige of the Divine Flame Realm. Most people participating in the competition had reached the ninth event stage. Furthermore, while Qin Feng's blood qi was powerful, there was no aura of merging with heaven and earth. In other words, he was not a primal. For him to manage to get into the top 10,000 was quite shocking. Through his narration, they learned that he had managed to get a spot to participate in the Nine Prefecture Convention by buying one from a sect when he ascended to the immortal world. He didn't have any resources. He could only risk his life in a small mercenary squad. Through hunting and risking his life searching for treasures, he managed to pay for cultivation expenses. By relying on his power, he had muddled his way through mercenary squads and adventuring parties, managing to accumulate enough resources so that his cultivation base didn't stagnate. Just a few months ago, he had led a group of adventurers on a hunt and inadvertently gained a precious medicinal plant that they exchanged for quite a few immortal crystals. That was no small sum for him. He was originally planning on buying some medicinal pills so that he could reach the ninth event stage. But then he heard of the Nine Prefecture Convention. Just like Long Chen, he had thought that if there were other Dragonblood warriors in the area, they would definitely attend. So he had relied on his connections to buy a spot from a local sect. Every sect had to pay quite a price to attend the Nine Prefecture Convention. Some sects couldn't afford to just be eliminated. So they sold some of their spots to reduce their losses. Thus, Qin Feng had come here. However, the sect that Qin Feng had bought his spot from was truly unlucky. On the way here, they met some enemies. And their disciples had no choice but to run over with their legs. As a result. They encountered a ferocious beast. Of a group of over 20 people, only three managed to get away. Even the elder protecting them was eaten by the beast. By the time he arrived at Silver Moon City, he was almost rejected at the gates. The registration for the Marshall Dow Convention had ended. But when they heard their circumstances, they truly felt them to be pitiful. And so they made an exception and let the three of them in. By that time, the Dao discussion convention was already over, and having rushed over so quickly, Ching Feng was exhausted. He then found a random corner and rested. He barely got a chance to rest before the martial Dao convention started. Thus, he rushed over, and in his rush, he didn't hear any of the rumors about Long Chen. It was only through today's competition that he saw Long Chen's name on the list of the top 10,000. When he saw his name, his heart almost stopped beating. After asking around, he almost wept from emotion. He was sure that the arrogant boss Long San was his boss. He then asked around for Long Chen's residence and finally arrived. Brother, it's been hard on you. Long Chen didn't expect Qin Feng to have faced such predicaments. Qin Feng almost didn't have a chance to come over. It wasn't hard. Seeing boss, everything was worth it, said Qin Feng. Long Chen checked Qin Feng's body and sighed. The medicinal pills that you've consumed during this time were too low grade. Too many pill toxins have accumulated in your body. Furthermore, focusing on breaking through has caused your meridians to narrow and reduced your combat potential. There was no way around it. For Qin Feng, just surviving was already a problem. Hence, he had no choice but to try to increase his power as much as possible. Only then could he gain more wealth and buy better medicinal pills. In his poor state, he couldn't even afford to consume good medicinal pills. Luo Bing and the others were startled by Long Chen's words. He was saying that Qin Feng's combat potential was reduced, but he still managed to get into the top 10,000. 
This seemingly ordinary fellow was so powerful. First, eat this medicinal pill. It will expel the toxins. Once they're gone, I'll help you expand your meridians. Then once your meridians are recovered, you can continue breaking through. Long Chen handed Chin Feng a medicinal pill, and the latter directly consumed it without even looking. After finding Long Chen, it was as if he had found his pillar. He would no longer need to worry about medicinal pills. That blessed feeling couldn't even be described with words. It was as if a starving beggar no longer needed to worry about food or clothing. What Bei Shishi and the others found curious was that Qin Feng's expression was extremely calm when Long Chen introduced them to him. It had to be known that whether it was Luo Bing and Luo Ning, or Lu Mingxuan and Mu Qingyan, all of them were rare beauties. This was not including the peerless Bei Shishi. Most people would feel ill at ease with them present, afraid that saying a single wrong word would offend these beauties. But Qin Feng seemed indifferent. Hey, can I ask you? Did your boss have many women around him before? Were they pretty? Once Long Chen left the room to refine pills to widen Qin Feng's meridians, leaving him alone with them, Lu Mingxuan immediately probed Qin Feng. Qin Feng nodded. A bit more than all of you, and they were all as beautiful as heavenly fairies. I don't believe you. Can you give me a spiritual imprint so I can see them? Asked Lu Mingxuan. What is there to look at? They're not as dirty as you, said Long Chen. Everyone jumped in shock. Lu Mingxuan asked, Didn't you say that you were going to refine pills? The refinement is done, said Long Chen irritably. So quickly, everyone was dumbfounded. With all the effort of letting out a fart, he finished refining a furnace of pills? Long Chen ignored them and then gave a case to Qin Fang. Eat one after midnight and one in the morning. Leave the rest for after tomorrow's competition to prevent Lu Mingxuan from continuing to interrogate Qin Feng. Long Chen then let Qin Feng rest in his room. The night passed silently. The next day, everyone gathered once more. Today, Qin Feng seemed invigorated. Let's go. There are going to be unending battles today as well. Hopefully, I can encounter a few tougher opponents said Long Chen while walking toward the rising sun. Chapter 3090 Second Expert When Long Chen and the others arrived, they jumped in shock. Originally, this island had a giant martial arena at the center with some spectator stands around it. However, today, there was an even larger spectator stand built in the sky. It was shaped like a ring and floated there, surrounding the entire island. It was packed with people. Damn, it really is a magnificent sight sighed one of the battle god palace's disciples. It's my first time seeing so many people. Bezayao looked around at the sea of people. The original spectator stand was for the disciples that had been eliminated. But this new one could fit dozens of times the people. Qin Feng looked around and shook his head. My boss has killed more people than you've seen. Bezayao was very curious about Qin Feng. So he was constantly asking questions about the Dragonblood Legion. Because of this, the two of them had gotten much closer. Furthermore, Bei Ziaol also called Long Chen boss, so Qin Feng treated him as a future member of the Dragonblood Legion. Bei Ziaol jumped in shock when he heard this. Bei Shishi and the others looked at him in disbelief. However, after saying that, Qin Feng didn't seem to have any intention of further explaining what he said. No matter how Bei Ziaol asked him, he didn't say anything, making the former itchy. Just as everyone felt like they were starting to get to know Long Chen, Qin Feng arrived. After that, they realized that they knew nothing about his past. They were fiercely curious about his experiences. Regretfully, Long Chen never mentioned anything about his past, and Qin Feng also seemed to have no intention of revealing much. But occasionally he would randomly say something that made them itchy to know more. Staring at Long Chen's back, they felt it to be lean and unbending. He seemed like someone who could raise the heavens yet also someone who could topple them. Qin Feng's arrival shrouded him in another layer of mystery. When they entered their spectator stand, they found that this place was also different from yesterday. There was now a special area at the inner ring. It was the spectating area for today's fighters, while the ones that had been eliminated yesterday could only watch from the other area. Long Chen and the others arrived at their special inner ring and there was a formation isolating them here like before. Long Chen's jade plate quivered a few times when he entered, checking his identity. 
Compared to the loud ruckus outside, this place was spacious and cozy. There were even some beautiful attendants serving tea and refreshments. It was as different as heaven and earth from the outer area. They then sat down on their comfortable chairs, and an attendant immediately came over. The Marshall Dow competition will begin in one hour, and I came here to relax your meridians. This was one of the side benefits given to those who had passed the preliminaries. These women were all skilled wood cultivators, and their wood energy could help people relax their meridians, allowing them to reach a deeper level of relaxation and enter their best combat state. No need. Thank you. Can you get me some food? said Long Chen. What? Are you afraid of being too comfortable and getting a reaction? asked Lu Mingxuan. She sat behind Long Chen, and an attendant was helping her massage her shoulders. Mist curled out of her body as the attendant helped her relax. Long Chen ignored her. No matter how he replied, there would definitely be a trap. He didn't want to get caught like that foolish girl Bei Shishi. As for Bei Shishi, with her previous experience, she also didn't say anything. In fact, she completely ignored Lu Mingxuan. After being conned once, she had learned her lesson. The others also knew just how skilled Lu Mingxuan was and didn't dare to say anything in reply. Hence, Lu Mingxuan giggled and fell silent, closing her eyes and relaxing. Long Chen, you should also relax. It's very effective, said Bei Shishi. This kind of meridian relaxation could allow a person to react faster in battle. No need. Chin Feng, you should do it as well. You need it the most out of everyone. When Chin Feng saw Long Chen reject it, he also rejected it. But after Long Chen said this, he joined everyone else. Long Chen also knew the benefits of this, but he didn't like other people's energy entering his meridians. Although he knew that they wouldn't harm him, it gave him an uneasy feeling. After just a bit, Luo Ning, Luo Bing, and the others fell asleep. These wood element attendants were truly skilled. They slowly woke up, completely refreshed. Just then, the elder from the Huaian Trading Company appeared again. His way of speaking was the same as yesterday, concise and straightforward. First, he congratulated everyone on passing the preliminaries. Then he said the same words about lacking experience in hosting and asking for everyone's forgiveness. After that, he got straight to the point, and the lots were drawn once more. However, it was different from yesterday. They weren't all transported onto the martial stage at once to fight. Instead, they entered in batches. Countless squares then appeared on the martial stage. Every square was its own small arena. Unlike last time when everyone was fighting on an invisible martial stage which prevented others from seeing their moves. Everything would be public this time. On the back of everyone's tablet was a similar design to the martial stages set up. There were tiny squares that corresponded to the blocks on the stage. Pressing one of those squares would cause the corresponding block to grow larger and allow them to see it clearly. This way, everyone could see the battle without a problem, as it wouldn't be affected by distance. Suddenly, the fighting blocks lit up and quite a few people were transported onto the stage. But Long Chen and the others weren't part of this first batch. Despite its size, there was a limit to how many people could fight on the stage at once. So everything progressed according to a sequence. Long Chen and the others needed to wait their turn Novaloon.com just as they were wondering who to watch. Chin Feng's tablet lit up. So quickly, everyone was startled. This meant that someone had won their battle, and Chin Feng was next. His tablet had lit up to tell him to make his preparations. What number? Asked Long Chen. 573. Just then, he vanished. Long Chen and the others quickly looked at the 573rd block. Not good. He's against the Nine Flower Sect's number two expert. When Bei Shishi saw his opponent, her expression changed slightly. Chapter 3091 Powerful Dragon Blood Warrior You Know Him? Asked Long Chen. No but I investigated the information on the Nine Flower Sect after all. You gave Ji Li a beating. They'll definitely want revenge. So I checked the information on their disciples. That fellow is called Su Yi. Those pockmarks on his face are the result of cultivating a strange cultivation technique as a youth. They are burns left behind by a Daomark possession. Not only was his face burned, but even one of his eyes is covered because it was turned blind. This injury caused him to become cruel and violent. In the Nine Flower Sect, 
Almost everyone is afraid of him. Even their number one junior expert keeps him at a respectful distance. He is definitely a frightening existence. Once he starts fighting, he won't even care about his life. It is said that he is in the midst of awakening his primal bloodline. Although he has yet to do so, he possesses the qualifications. He is very powerful. Chin Fung will be in danger, warned Bei Shishi. So he hasn't awakened a primal bloodline yet? Then Chin Fung can handle him, said Long Chen. At first, he had thought that Chin Fung truly was unlucky to encounter a primal so quickly. But as soon as he heard that the opponent wasn't a primal, he relaxed. Bei Shishi shook her head, thinking that Long Chen was viewing this far too simply. Su Yi was a crazy person in combat. Anyone would definitely suffer fighting him. However, Chin Feng had set foot on the stage, and they couldn't communicate with him. She only hoped that Chin Feng would be able to notice quickly enough and admit defeat. Luo Bing and the others also grew nervous when they heard her words, so they stared closely at Chin Feng's block. Only Long Chen was not the slightest bit nervous. Just at this moment, his block lit up and they could see a large one-eyed man covered in pockmarks and wild hair facing Chin Fang. He looked crazy. After that, he opened his mouth, revealing two rows of large teeth. He looked as if he would start eating people. Facing Su Yi, Chin Feng's expression was calm. When his block lit up, he slowly reached back for his saber's hilt on his back. He bent forward slightly, one leg forward and one back. He was like a crouching leopard that had locked onto his prey. In that instant, a formless aura unfurled and he seemed to have become a different person. At that moment, heaven and earth turned silent, and time seemed to stand still. People even forgot how to breathe. An expert, Bei Shishi, Lu Mingxuan, Luo Xue, and the others were all moved. Just this posture was flawless. Even through the formation, they could sense an immense sense of pressure. They were unable to imagine just how a mid-divine flame realm disciple was able to unleash such a terrifying aura. As for Su Yi, he also sensed this, and his smile vanished, replaced with shock. He then extended his hand, and an iron rod appeared in it. The light on their block flashed three times, and the barrier separating them suddenly vanished. With a cry, Chin Feng shot forward like a bolt of lightning, his saber hacking toward Su Yi. There was nothing flashy about it. It was a simple slash, yet it contained a will to sever the heavens and split the earth. Scram. Su Yi roared furiously. Chin Feng had taken the initiative Novaloon.com boom. A chi wave exploded. Within the wild astral winds, Chin Feng and Su Yi both retreated. They ended up in a draw in this exchange. Luo Bing and the others cheered for Chin Feng. They had all seen it clearly. Chin Feng's saber had actually twisted midway striking Su Yi's rod right in the middle. Su Yi was holding his rod one-handed and horizontally. Because of it, the place that Chin Feng struck was perfectly the most difficult spot for Su Yi to retain control of his rod. As a result, Su Yi was sent tumbling back several steps, while Chin Feng was not at all unbalanced. As soon as his feet touched the ground, he sprang back, attacking like a wild tempest his saber slashing toward his opponent with even greater ferocity. Su Yi was still retreating and had yet to recover. Infuriated, he clasped his rod with both hands and thrust it at Chin Feng's chest. His rod was longer than Chin Feng's saber. Although Su Yi attacked later, due to the difference in weapons, their attacks would land at the same time. At that time, Chin Feng's saber would hack him in two but the power contained within Su Yi's spear would also pierce Chin Feng's body and blast him apart. It was a suicidal exchange. In truth, this was Su Yi's best chance to counterattack. As soon as Chin Feng avoided his attack, he could regain the initiative. He could defend and attack effectively with this one move. However, he was shocked to find that Chin Feng showed no sign of dodging. The saber continued falling toward him, seemingly unstoppable. Chin Feng was actually planning on dying with him. Luo Ning cried out when she saw this. If this continued, both sides would tragically die. Boom. In the end, it was Su Yi who changed moves. He didn't want to die with Chin Feng, but the result of his hasty change in moves resulted in him being at an immense disadvantage. He was blasted straight into the martial stage's barrier and bounced off. Just as he bounced back, a cold saber flashed and his head flew into the air. 
The sound of a saber returning to its sheath made a light noise. After that, Su Yi's corpse fell to the ground. Everyone was shocked to find that the flame of his soul had been extinguished. He was well and truly dead. Theoretically, a divine flame expert wouldn't instantly die even with their head cut off. Clearly, Qin Feng's attack was so fierce that it even blew apart his opponent's soul. Qin Feng was still expressionless, as if he had done something completely worthless. Everyone, including Bei Shishi and the others, stared at him lifelessly. It had to be known that Qin Feng had mentioned that he was nothing more than one of the most ordinary members of the Dragonblood Legion. Above him were the more powerful squad leaders and then the terrifying captains. Above the captains was the even more monstrous Long Chen. In his mouth, he was nothing more than a minor character. But in three moves, he had killed the Nine Flower Sect's number two expert, Su Yi. They're all fearless madmen. Qin Feng is even more suicidal than Su Yi. Lu Mingxuan couldn't help shaking her head. If Su Yi hadn't changed moves at the last second, the two of them would have died together. Although it was just three moves, they truly shook people's hearts. That had been truly dangerous. At this moment, Qin Feng returned to Long Chen's side. He acted indifferently as if nothing had happened. Just then, Long Chen's tablet began to flash. Chapter 3092 Blood Kill Expert Long Chen entered the martial stage. But this time, he didn't directly attack. That was because there was a barrier splitting the stage in two to prevent people from doing a preemptive attack. He was facing a black-robed man. The latter's clothes were skin-tight, and his cloak covered his face, leaving only his eyes uncovered. When they saw his opponent, Luo Bing and the others cried out in shock. An expert from the Bloodkill Hall. They knew that they might encounter the Bloodkill Hall's experts here. After all. The Bloodkill Hall participated in every Martial Dao convention. They had branches here and would always obtain some rewards. Based on everyone's guess, the Bloodkill Hall was also one of the ones profiting from the Nine Prefecture Convention. Hence, they definitely hated Long Chen, but he didn't expect to encounter them so early. In a one against one, Long Chen might be at a disadvantage, said Luo Shue a bit worriedly. This martial stage had a formation that contained every essence of heaven and earth so that everyone could unleash their full capabilities. But an assassin was most skilled at hiding and hunting prey. As soon as he hid himself, he could appear anywhere on the stage. Don't worry, a clown from the Bloodkill Hall won't trouble boss, said Qin Feng. He had absolute confidence in Long Chen, and he was full of expectations. It's too bad that the opponent is too weak, Qin Feng even sighed as he had been hoping to see his boss fighting all out for the first time after ascending to the immortal world. Unfortunately, Long Chen's opponent was just someone from the Bloodkill Hall. Qin Feng was a bit disappointed. That expression of his left the others speechless. This fellow was a bit too arrogant, but he was truly qualified to be arrogant. Long Chen, if you have any final words, you should say them now. Your martial Dao convention ends here along with your life, said his enemy. Even though his mouth was covered, his voice still came through very clearly. Long Chen looked at him and shook his head in disgust. Someone wearing a diaper on their head shouldn't talk. I'm afraid that crap will come out. You, that person was enraged. The Bloodkill Hall's experts rarely revealed their faces to others. They were almost always masked. They were the Reaper of the Night. After being masked for so long, revealing their true face would make them feel uneasy so they always preferred to cover up. After a long time of this convention, they started to view this as an extremely holy conduct. But Long Chen was actually provoking him with their holy custom, enraging him. Ignorant trash, you dare to blaspheme the killing god. The killing god will punish you. Even in death, your soul will be tossed into a bottomless hell for eternity. Beishishi and the others were startled. They glanced at each other questioningly. Is he really one of those terrifying assassins of the Bloodkill Hall? Wondered Luo Ning Novaloon.com assassins all had to be cool and collected. Viewing life as nothing more than stalks of grass. They held no regard for other people's lives but also no regard for their own life. Other than killing, there was nothing worth their pursuit. Thus, assassins were cold and numb butchers. Someone was actually able to make one of these assassins so enraged? This was unbelievable. The Bloodkill Hall's assassins all have utmost faith in their killing god. 
only the most loyal assassins get better training. Thus, the stronger they are, the more devout they are to the killing god. By mocking his adornment, Boss is looking down on the killing god, resulting in his anger. With his heart in chaos, let alone Boss, even I could easily crush him. But I don't have Boss's ability to enrage someone by stabbing them right in their weak point, said Chin Fang. On the Martial Heaven continent, they had encountered the Blood Kill Hall quite a bit. Even their divine daughter became one of Long Chen's women. So the Blood Kill Hall's inside information was already revealed to them. Suddenly, Bei Shishi sensed something behind her. She turned back. In the outer ring, she saw a small group of people waving and shouting. Due to the distance, she couldn't hear these people. But Bei Shishi saw some familiar faces. Our cheering squad has arrived. Bei Shishi smiled. Luo Bing and the others also turned back, as expected, by straining their eyes, they were barely able to tell that it was Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others. This small cheering squad actually numbered in the tens of thousands. The High Firmament Academy had bought a ticket for everyone who met the conditions. This particular convention had experts like Bei Shishi, Long Chen, and young master Chang Chuan. Hence, they were all full of anticipation. Even if it cost a fortune, they had to come watch so they could personally witness Long Chen and the other's accomplishments. Standing on the stage, Long Chen also sensed it. Seeing Luo Bing waving to him, he looked to where they were pointing and also saw Zhang Ling and the others. He then saw the tens of thousands of disciples wearing the robes of the High Firmament Academy. He waved toward them. You will personally witness as I take the champion throne. Those disciples cheering instantly grew to a new level. Long Chen could barely see them, but they were able to see Long Chen clearly. His voice was also very clear. It felt like all their cheering was worth it. Even as he waved, he didn't seem to pay attention to his stage. At this moment, the barrier vanished. Just as it vanished, his opponent also followed. Long Chen, watch out. Luo Bing couldn't help crying out in shock. But only then did she recall that her voice couldn't reach the stage. Long Chen suddenly twisted his head. Just at that moment, a dagger appeared in the air and stabbed through the spot where his head had been. If he had dodged any later, his head would have been pierced. Without looking back, Long Chen casually swung his hand behind him. As a result, the Blood Kill Hall's assassin appeared and Long Chen's palm struck him in the face. He then smashed into the barrier and the clothing covering his face exploded, revealing a completely ordinary face covered in shock. Damn, don't you think this is too casual? Don't you have other diapers? Hurry up and change yourself. If you don't, I have my own underpants you can borrow. No, I think I'll just give them to you, said Long Chen kindly. Blasphemers of the killing god must die. The assassin was incensed and formed one-handed seals. As a result, their block suddenly turned dark and the entire scenery changed. Long Chen found himself in a gloomy jungle. Chapter 3093 An Assassin's Weakness This is. Everyone was stunned. How did the martial stage become like this? This gloomy forest gave people a frightening chill. Blasphemer of the killing god. You will pay the price for your foolishness. Await death with an endless terror. The assassin's sinister voice rang throughout the jungle. Long Chen punched a large tree beside him. It then fell and smashed apart some of the surrounding trees. It's actually not an illusion. Luo Bing and the others were surprised. They had originally thought that this was an illusion. Even then, an illusion on such a large scale was shocking enough. But this was actually real. Interesting. So you have both earth and wood elements. But so what? Without a diaper, you can't cover your face, said Long Chen. Fool. This jungle is the manifestation of a priceless treasure. It is both illusory and real. No one can escape from this place. Have you not noticed that the trees you knocked down have recovered? Sneered the blood kill expert. Everyone was shocked and hastily checked. Just as he said, the trees that had been knocked down had returned to their previous appearance. An insignificant trick. If I destroyed this jungle, I'd feel like I was bullying you. Boss San likes to beat experts who think themselves powerful. Right now. You're scurrying in the dark like a rat while you wait to assassinate your target. Well, fine. Today, I'll expose your blood kill hall's so-called assassination arts and show everyone that they're not worth shit. 
Anyone else would feel a profound feeling of fear when tossed into this gloomy jungle. But Long Chen indifferently said, The Blood Kill Hall's assassins don't really have much ability. They rely on sinister tricks and mental warfare. They often show off something flashy to scare people before they launch the real killing blow while their opponent's mind is in terror. Luo Bing and the others suddenly realized that Long Chen was giving them a lesson on how to counter an assassin. But even if they knew what to do, it wasn't so easy to do it in practice. If an ordinary person was tossed into a deep pool and saw only darkness, how could they not be afraid? Most importantly, there was even a hungry crocodile within this lake, and it was hidden. It could see you, but you couldn't see it. How could you not be nervous? Just as Long Chen was speaking, a dagger rushed toward Long Chen's face, but without even looking at it, Long Chen swung his hand behind him. As a result, the blood kill expert had just appeared behind him when he was struck by Long Chen's palm. Again, he was sent flying, breaking quite a few trees on his way before smashing into a boulder and coughing up a mouthful of blood. He then slowly slid down the boulder, leaving a long line of blood. This is, everyone was shocked. Long Chen had sent the blood kill expert flying. It was as if he was a prophet. Only after sending the assassin flying did he casually dodge the dagger flying toward him from the front. That dagger was nothing more than bait to draw his attention. The real attack came from behind. However, in this tense situation, anyone would instantly react to that dagger flying toward them. That was instinct. But if he had focused on blocking the dagger, he would have been killed by the assassin from behind. At this moment, the blood kill expert slammed his palm against the ground. His body bounced off, vanishing within the jungle. He once more hid himself. Suddenly, a dozen arrows shot out of the forest at Long Chen. They came from completely different angles, as if a dozen people were shooting. The heads of these arrows were pitch black, and there was a vague blue light as well. That was the result of the arrows being corroded by the poison. Anyone struck would lose at least half their life. However, Long Chen only sneered and turned his body. Those arrows then passed right by him. After that, he directly swung his hand. Boom. Ripples appeared in the air, and a figure showed up within those ripples. The blood kill expert let out a painful grunt as he was sent flying again. This time, he was sent flying before he could even make a move against Long Chen. He was found again. How is Long Chen doing this? Asked Luo Ning. They were unable to even spot that assassin's shadow, but Long Chen seemed to see through him. The assassin coughed up blood, feeling shocked. He also didn't know how Long Chen had found his location twice. Long Chen shook the blood off of his hand and indifferently said, Are you curious? You assassins always use the simplest methods, using the smallest price to kill your targets. In other words, you don't dare to unleash your full power because then you can't keep yourself concealed in the void. Since you don't dare to use your full power, there are only a few spots you can aim for that will be fatal. To put it frankly, as long as you ignore everything in front of you and focus on your vitals, then even if you aren't a sword cultivator, your sense of danger should be able to find them. Furthermore, assassins always like to come from angles that you don't expect. But any move has its own weakness. Although attacks that come from behind are difficult to block, if you focus on the most common weak points of a person's body, it will be like you have a pair of eyes watching those spots, and you will be able to clearly sense an assassin approaching. Bullshit. The blood kill expert was enraged. As he vanished once more, Long Chen sneered and suddenly retreated to the left. He then swung his hand again. Pow. The assassin was slapped out of space yet again. Luo Bing and the others cried out in shock. This assassin had just been in the midst of hiding in one of Long Chen's dead angles. Pow. Now. He had just vanished when Long Chen slapped him out of space again. Long Chen was so accurate that it was unbelievable. Pow, pow, pow. Comma that assassin was repeatedly slapped out of space, unable to conceal himself. Now, Luo Bing and the others understood that Long Chen was doing this as a demonstration for them. He actually had a 100 perfect accuracy at finding this assassin. Heavenly Desolation Slaughter. After receiving so many slaps, the blood kill expert went crazy. He howled and divine light exploded out of his body. Rather than an assassination art, he directly charged at Long Chen as a streak of light. 
The divine light was most intense at the tip of his dagger. Without any flashiness, he shot at Long Chen. All his power concentrated on one attack. Chapter 3094 Fights between experts The Blood Kill Hall's assassination arts were completely ineffective against Long Chen. No matter what movement art the assassin used, it was broken by Long Chen. His concealing techniques were like jokes. The repeated setbacks had infuriated him. As a result, he couldn't even retain the most basic calmness that an assassin needed to have and his full power erupted as he faced Long Chen head-on. Boom! Blood filled the air, and at the next moment, the jungle vanished. The martial stage returned to its original appearance. A dagger clattered to the ground. It was the same dagger as before, but its master had vanished from heaven and earth. Who would have thought that an assassin said to always be emotionless and sinister would erupt in anger and be blasted apart by a single punch? Just at that moment, Long Chen was transported back out. In the outer spectator stand, the High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered. Even in the face of such a terrifying assassin, Long Chen's victory was so easy. Big Brother Long Chen, you're really amazing. Even the playing stage known as the Nine Prefecture Convention can't cover up your light, shouted Zhang Ling, so excited that her face was as red as an apple. Unfortunately, they were too far and their cheers couldn't reach Long Chen and the others. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I don't understand. That assassin clearly knew that you were waiting for him to act according to his normal patterns. Why didn't he attack from a different angle? Asked Luo Shue. The others also looked at him, waiting for his answer. This was also a question in their minds. This assassin was truly foolish. No, he could have simply attacked from a different angle. It's because assassins are trained from the start to attack other people's dead angles. After all that drilling, it becomes a reflex. They can find a person's dead angles with their eyes closed to launch a killing blow. So even if he knew what I was doing, he couldn't stop himself. The moment he concealed himself and prepared to attack, he immediately reacted to the dead angle. At that moment, I immediately sensed it. It's like cheating in hide and seek. As soon as he intended to attack me, I sensed it. If it wasn't to teach you a lesson, I'd have killed him at the start, said Long Chen. There's such a thing. Everyone was stunned. Unlike Long Chen, who was far too familiar with the Blood Kill Hall, they didn't know that this was the first lesson for the Blood Kill Hall's initiates. After the first round ended, 10,000 people were reduced to 5,000. The second round would then start after an hour's rest. This time, Long Chen was in the first wave. Upon entering the martial stage, he saw that his opponent was from the Nine Flower sect, and that disciple directly admitted defeat without another word upon seeing him, afraid that Long Chen would kill him. Due to Ji Li, the Nine Flower sect and the High Firmament Academy's relationship was no longer good. They had also joined the camp opposing the High Firmament Academy. Thus, while this person did have some confidence in his own power, he didn't dare to risk his life. Long Chen returned just like that. Bei Shishi and the others went in one after another. Unexpectedly, Luo Ning also faced someone from the Blood Kill Hall. After Long Chen's lesson, her focus was on her dead angles. So she easily grasped the location of her opponent as if she could see him. That assassin repeatedly switched techniques for concealing himself but was always found by Luo Ning. It seemed that Luo Ning was also quite mischievous. Even though she had clearly grasped where he was, she pretended to lose track of him every time he switched his technique. There were quite a few times where she narrowly avoided being killed. Just as the assassin's guard started to drop and he snuck closer to Luo Ning, she randomly swung her sword, cutting off half of his head. He died. Luo Ning's display drew out quite a bit of laughter. She was actually such a talented actress that this assassin didn't even realize how he died. Long Chen was also speechless. The assassin that Luo Ning encountered was actually a bit stronger than the one that he had encountered. If the two assassins were fighting each other directly, it was hard to say who would beat who. However, for assassins, fighting directly was a kind of insult to themselves. They refused to do such a thing unless they had no more choice. It really was easy. I didn't think that the Blood Kill Hall's assassins could be killed so easily Luo Ning came back in high spirits. It was then Qin Feng's turn. His opponent was only of average power, 
so he directly defeated him in one move. But Qin Feng had mercy and didn't injure him. On the other hand, Luo Bing faced a tough opponent. They exchanged dozens of blows before Luo Bing managed to defeat him. The others also felt that their opponents were growing stronger. The second round ended, whittling 5,000 experts down to 2,500. This rate of elimination was rather frightening. The remaining battles will probably be clashes between experts. You can no longer get lucky with weak opponents, said Lu Mingxuan. The third round quickly then started, and everyone focused on themselves, not daring to be careless. Even the spectators grew nervous because the battles were only growing increasingly intense. At this time, the number of eliminated people had reached a certain point, so the blocks on the martial stage grew larger. They were no longer as concentrated as before. Now it was possible to see everyone clearly. As the lots spun, countless people's hearts pounded hard in their chests. Everyone was hoping for a slightly weaker opponent. The next lots were quickly drawn and Long Chen checked his tablet. He didn't recognize the name of his opponent or the sect they came from, so it wasn't an enemy. From the third round on, the tablets no longer just listed the name of their opponent but also listed the power from which they came. Interesting. Bei Shishi smiled slightly as she looked at her tablet. Long Chen snuck a look. Dark Tiger Alliance. Lu Oxen. Is that the fellow who was silently watching while I beat up their alliance head? That half-bald fellow, asked Long Chen. Yes, I heard he's the Dark Tiger Alliance's secret weapon for getting into the top hundred. His strength has never been made public, but he's probably a primal, said Bei Shishi. That really is interesting. Long Chen also smiled, but he wasn't worried at all. He was very clear on just how powerful Bei Shishi was. Boss, let me show you something even more interesting. Qin Feng showed him his own tablet. Chu Zhen, Shen Prefecture's Chu family seeing that name shocked everyone. Chapter 3095 Qin Feng vs. Chu Zhen Crab. Chu Zhen is a primal. Luo Zhu's expression changed. She looked at Qin Feng and hesitated. She wanted to tell him to just abandon the match, but she knew that he was a very prideful existence. If she actually said something, Qin Feng would probably be too prideful to give up. Long Chen also couldn't help frowning. Qin Feng's luck was really bad. However, it was already the third round of eliminations, so there were only a few people left. Encountering a primal was unavoidable. Long Chen looked at him. How many moves? Qin Feng hesitated. I suppose ten. Long Chen shook his head. That's too many. At most, five. If you cannot slay him in five moves, you will no longer have a chance. What Lu Mingxuan and the others were stunned. Rather than advising Qin Feng to give up, Long Chen was telling him to win within five moves? Win against a primal? How was that possible? Just at that moment, Qin Feng's tablet began flashing. He smiled slightly. Boss, I'm going. After that, Qin Feng vanished, appearing on the martial stage. He was actually amongst the first. Long Chen, you actually sent him to fight Chu Zhen. Your heart really is big. Luo Ning couldn't help shaking her head. Long Chen said, Don't judge a person's power by the cultivation base that you see. That's very dangerous. Just watch, and you will see what a true battle is. A warrior that has gone through the baptism of blood and fire is definitely not what you imagine Luo Bing and the others couldn't help being curious. It seemed that Long Chen had just as much confidence in Qin Feng as Qin Feng had in Long Chen. Just at this moment, the opponent arrived. Unexpectedly, Chu Hen's appearance was rather startling. Chu Yang and Chu Kuang might have been very hateful, but their looks had been above average. On the other hand, Chu Hen's face was particularly long, like a donkey's face. His forehead was both flat and pointed, and even his jaw was pointed. It gave people an urge to find a hammer and smash his head a few times to flatten it a bit. Other than that, he had a long scar on his face that was perfectly placed so that with another slash of a blade, there would be a perfect X scar on his face. Your father and mother really were lazy. Why not put in the work instead of doing it half-heartedly? I really don't get the point of that scar. Lu Mingxuan muttered to herself. Luo Bing and the others didn't know what she was saying, but considering her character, they understood that she was always dirty. It's probably that the blade went too deep during the caesarean section, 
said Long Chen casually. This sudden turn caught them off guard, and a few chuckles escaped Bei Shishi and the others. It's too bad that they can't hear you on the martial stage, or just that would be enough to make Chu Jen die of anger. Then Qin Feng could easily win, said Luo Xue. Shh, they're talking. Luo Bing pointed. When Chu Jen appeared, he smiled slightly at Qin Feng. Little fellow, I heard that you are Long Chen's subordinate? Then today is the day of your death. Every single movement within Silver Moon City was under the eyes of the hosts. The Chu family was enemies with the academy, and so they naturally sent people to keep an eye on Long Chen and the others. Investigating this newcomer, Qin Feng, was simple. Please don't smile. It's really ugly. To use my boss's words, when your parents birthed you, did they make a mistake? Did they lose the baby and end up raising the placenta? Asked Qin Feng. Lu Mingxuan burst into laughter, lacking the slightest image of a lady. Lu Ning also laughed until she cried. Brother San, did you really say such a thing? Asked Mu Qingyan, also laughing. Long Chen was speechless. He had cursed so many people in this lifetime. How could he remember them all? This fellow Qin Feng, why did he have to drag him into this? Chu Hen's long face instantly twisted with killing intent. Brat, I'll make sure you suffer first. Just at this moment, their block began to flash, indicating that battle was imminent. Divine light then flowed out of Chu's hen's sinister smile. He was like a tiger pondering how to torture his prey. Qin Feng took a deep breath and closed his eyes. He then grasped his saber on his back. At this moment, blood-colored marks began to appear on his body. They seemed like scales. As the barrier between them disappeared, Chu Zhen instantly vanished reappearing right in front of Qin Feng. So fast, Luo Bing and the others were shocked by this speed. At some point, a red claw casing had appeared on his hand. Even through the martial stage, they could sense its sharpness. Those claws unleashed flame energy as they tore through the air, looking as if they would ignite the void. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Those flames had Lord Brahma's aura. As expected, the Chu family's people were Lord Brahma's dogs. All their cultivation techniques were related to him. This once more proved his guess that the Chu family's resurgence was thanks to Lord Brahma's support. The instant Chu's hen's sharp attack fell, Qin Feng's saber also slashed through the air. It wasn't aimed at the claws but at Chu's hen's waist. As the saber slashed through the air, a faint dragon cry could be heard that shook the entire stage. Chu's hen's expression changed. He had originally been planning on capturing Qin Feng in an instant and making him beg for life and then eventually beg for death. He had been unable to sense any threat from him. But the instant that this attack came, his hair stood on end. A sensation of mortal danger caused him to feel a chill. Originally, he had thought that his protective layer of divine light should be enough. That would show Qin Feng just how minuscule he was in comparison. But he was shocked to find that there was no way this protective divine light could stop Qin Feng's attack. If it landed, he would be cut in two. Boom. Chu Zhen managed to block Qin Feng's saber with his claws. Sparks flew and the martial stage shuddered. At that moment, Qin Feng's blood chi unfurled and the marks on his body grew brighter. Dragon blood battle armor. Qin Feng roared and his aura transformed, becoming wild, domineering, and bloodthirsty. In that instant. He seemed to become a different person, causing everyone to jump in shock. Chapter 3096 Bei Shishi goes out Qin Feng's dragon scales unleashed a wild aura that gave people a sense of immense pressure even through the formation. At this moment, Chu Zhen had just blocked Qin Feng's saber when he felt an explosion of power come from the saber. Waves of power then unfurled. As a result, the martial stage beneath his feet cracked. He was pushed back leaving two long gutters on the stage. Chu Zhen was shocked. His aura had actually been suppressed by Qin Feng. In his carelessness, he had given up the initiative. Boom. Chu Zhen's aura suddenly erupted and divine light appeared behind him. After that, a manifestation appeared. Chu Zhen really has awakened his primal manifestation exclaimed Lu Mingxuan. Boom. The ground beneath him crumbled. A ripple then spread through the ground and he instantly stopped being blown back. Lifting his leg, he sent a kick at Qin Feng's abdomen. Qin Feng snorted and pushed himself away with his saber, retreating half a step and avoiding the kick. Not good. Bei Shishi and the others' expressions changed. 
It's a feint. Luo Xue also cried out. The instant Qin Feng dodged the kick, countless runes appeared on Chu Zhen's arms. This was his true killing blow. Die. Chu Zhen smiled sinisterly. When both his arms glowed, immense power erupted from his palms. Chu Zhen was an expert of the Chu family. Whether it was his personal power or his combat skills, they were all very powerful. Even though he appeared furious, he still retained his calm and didn't even summon his entire manifestation. This way, his opponents wouldn't be able to see his true power. Despite that, he was confident that it could wipe out anyone that wasn't a primal. However, just then, Qin Feng's saber lit up, blazing like the sun. Chu Zhen was shocked to find that his explosive power was absorbed by that saber without leaving a drop. Not good. Chu Zhen's expression completely changed. At this moment, Qin Feng's saber spun toward his neck at a strange angle, as quick as lightning. The next second, blood splashed and Qin Feng's saber exploded into countless fragments that flew through the air. Qin Feng's own body spun seven or eight times through the air before falling. As for what he was holding, all he had was the hilt of his saber. Everyone stared in shock at Chu Zhen. They saw layers of divine runes had formed a protective barrier around Chu Zhen's neck. However, a large cut had been made into his barrier, and blood gushed out of his neck. The wound was so deep that it was possible to see bone. His neck was only a bit away from being completely severed. Luo Bing and the others gasped. Only after recovering from their shock did they realize that Qin Feng had known about Chu Zhen's feint from the start and had planned to use a clever technique to absorb his power and return it. This could be considered using a person's power to defeat them. He was using Chu Zhen's power against him. Regretfully, Qin Feng's saber was too low in quality to contain that power and hadn't managed to break through his full defenses before exploding. Otherwise, Chu Zhen's head would have been cut off. It was truly a pity. At the same time as they cried out regretfully for Qin Feng, they were profoundly shaken by him. Such perfect scheming was truly terrifying. Luo Xue couldn't help looking at Long Chen. She saw that he was still calm, and it seemed that he didn't feel much regret. Luo Xue found it hard to imagine that Qin Feng was telling the truth and that he really was nothing more than an ordinary member of the Dragonblood Legion. If that was the case, just how terrifying was the Dragonblood Legion Noveloon.com CMU1? Qin Feng shook his head and clenched his tablet. He was then instantly sent out not giving Chu Zhen another chance to attack him. What a pity. You were just a bit off. If I had known earlier, I'd have gotten you a better weapon, said Bei Ziaol indignantly. In terms of power, I'm quite a bit off from him. A defeat is normal. He didn't want to expose too much of his power, so he was holding back, which was the only reason I had a chance to kill him. But even if I had killed him, I would have relied on coincidence, not true power said Qin Feng indifferently. Hearing that, Luo Xue and the others nodded in admiration. His magnanimity and spirit were truly admirable. This was a true expert. Long Chen also nodded inside. It had been a long time since Qin Feng was with the Dragonblood Legion, but all those lessons remained firmly in his heart. Qin Feng's display was very satisfactory, and there was nothing wrong with his fundamentals. As for the difference in realms, he could quickly help him make up for it furthermore. Not only was he losing in the cultivation base, but he also had an inferior weapon. Despite that, he had still managed to go this far. No one looked down on him for this defeat. On the other hand, the victor, Chu Zhen, had an ugly expression. Although he had won, the countless strange gazes he felt on him infuriated him. Although that wound was nothing to him and could be quickly healed, he had lost face in this battle. Not bad, praised Long Chen. Actually, I could have done better, said Qin Feng after a moment's thought. No, you did very well. You used your dragon blood power to absorb his power. That's already all you could do. The reason your weapon exploded was not just because of its quality, but also because his energy was of the flame element, which made it difficult to turn it back on him. Furthermore, the worst part was that your realm is lacking. If you also reached the ninth heaven stage, you would have had a 90% chance of killing him just now. But none of that is important. The most admirable thing is your heart. It is as steady as a mountain. The moment your saber exploded, you still had a chance to kill him. But you chose to give up. 
in the face of such immense bait, you still chose to retreat. That's what makes me happiest, said Long Chen. Being praised by Long Chen made Chin Feng actually feel a bit awkward. Boss, it seems that in the lower plane, you've never praised us like this about the martial Dao. Maybe it's because we're all too foolish that Brother San is feeling emotional, said Mu Qingyan with a smile. Through Chin Feng, she finally learned that the one called Yu Zifen was the fourth captain of the Dragonblood Legion. Chin Feng's arrival made her fiercely curious about the Dragonblood Legion. Although Chin Feng had been defeated, he didn't seem to view this as any setback. For Bei Ziaol, Chin Feng was now the one he worshipped the most after Long Chen. Suddenly, Bei Shishi's tablet began to flash, so everyone was shaken. It was finally Bei Shishi's turn to go out. Beat out that fellow's egg yolks, cheered Lu Mingxuan, resulting in everyone else rolling their eyes. Chapter 3097 Dark Tiger Power Bei Shishi was sent to the martial stage appearing like a goddess descended from the heavens. Just by standing there, she already drew attention. It was as if her presence was making this world more beautiful. Even within the Nine Prefecture Convention where beauties were as common as the clouds, Bei Shishi stood out. She was the brightest star that made all others appear dim. Long Chen heard countless cries throughout the stands. With the number of blocks being reduced, it was easier for people to spot Bei Shishi. Bei Shishi's beauty left no room for doubt, and she also possessed an innate grandeur that made others adore her, but it also made them afraid of getting close for fear of blaspheming her. There was no way to describe this air. Facing Bei Shishi was the Dark Tiger Alliance's number one expert, Lu Xiaoxin. When Long Chen had beaten up the Alliance head outside the city, Lu Xiaoxin had simply watched. He hadn't said anything as if he was indifferent to anything. Now that he was facing Bei Shishi, his gaze was a bit complicated. Why isn't it Long Chen? Even if it was Long Chen, it would mean nothing. He doesn't like men, said Bei Shishi indifferently. Novaloon.com Luo Shue and the others were stunned. They hadn't expected that the cold and aloof Bei Shishi would actually say such a thing. They couldn't believe their ears. As for Long Chen, he almost coughed up blood. He looked at Lu Mingxuan with a disdainful expression. This dirty girl had even infected Bei Shishi. Seeing him look at her, Lu Mingxuan laughed, revealing her white teeth. She then gave Long Chen a gesture of victory, like an adorable devil. On the stage, Lu Xiaoxin didn't even understand Bei Shishi's meaning. Thinking that she didn't understand him, he said, If it was Long Chen, I could fight all out and kill him. I don't have much feeling for the Dark Tiger Alliance but humiliating the alliance head is also humiliating me. Those who have insulted me have all died. Kill Long Chen. Bei Shishi suddenly smiled. She didn't say anything further, but that smile contained a touch of scorn. After that, golden runes appeared around Bei Shishi, and the ground beneath her feet began to crack. Within those cracks, people could see golden light. Seeing that golden light, everyone that was paying attention to her cried out in shock. Through those cracks, they could see that everything underground was golden or it was as if they were seeing a world of gold. The golden light then illuminated Bei Shishi, and combined with the runes swirling around her, she appeared even more beautiful, like a fairy that had walked out of a dream. What pure metal energy. This isn't bloodline power but pure metal energy. Long Chen was shocked. Bei Shishi's metal energy had grown even more terrifying, and he didn't know what Bei Shishi's mother had done. As their block began to flash, the fight was about to commence. Feeling shocked by Bei Shishi's golden light, Lu Xiaoxin hastily formed hand seals. Boom. As a result, divine light quivered behind Lu Xiaoxin. A giant black figure then appeared behind him, and black energy wrapped around his body. His entire aura became dark and sinister. Dark energy. Chin Feng couldn't help crying out in shock. This was an extremely rare kind of energy one that he had only heard of in stories. It is not dark energy. This is a chi that comes from the netherworld. It should be considered ancient heroic spirit chi, said Long Chen. Long Chen was extremely sensitive to the netherworld's chi due to his connection with Len Yuian and Mian Kangyu. Hence, he instantly recognized this aura. Luo Xuan nodded. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is truly erudite. This truly isn't dark energy but a kind of sacrificed spirit chi. 
The Dark Tiger Alliance worships the Dark Tiger race's skeleton, and it is said that they have the blessing of the Dark Tiger race and a divine energy inheritance. The power that Lu Ziaoxin has activated should be considered Dark Tiger energy. His bloodline was originally of a dark element, which perfectly suits the Dark Tiger energy. That's why when he activates his primal manifestation, the Dark Tiger energy he unleashes is shocking. Just then, a roar split the air. Right now, Lu Ziaoxin's eyes had turned scarlet, and his body was covered in black fur also. Black chi swelled out of him. When the dark figure in his manifestation roared, it shook people's souls. The Dark Tiger is an ancient divine beast that possesses immense spiritual strength. Even when its body dies, its soul is not extinguished. With faith energy, it can continue to live forever. The ancient records really are true. This voice is something that pierces through the river of time. It truly possesses an ancient aura. Long Chen nodded as he watched Lu Ziaoxin. The world was truly large and filled with marvels. Many unbelievable things were written in ancient records. And now that he was truly seeing one of those things, he had no choice but to believe it. Just then, the barrier vanished and the battle officially started. Lu Ziaoxin charged forward, a bone blade appearing in his hand. The bone blade was pure white, looking like an elephant tusk, but when he slashed it, stripes appeared on it like a tiger's stripes. Those stripes were black. When that saber fell, it seemed as if heaven and earth were going to be cut in two. That was a terrifying aura. Luo Shua and the others hadn't expected the Dark Tiger Alliance to have produced such a terrifying disciple. He was actually capable of summoning the power of the ancient Dark Tiger. Their hearts clenched for Beishishi. The High Firmament Academy's disciples also felt tense. They clenched their fists so tightly as if they felt that clenching their fists could help Beishishi. However, in the face of this terrifying attack, Beishishi's expression was calm. She slowly raised her hand. Just like that, she awaited the bone blade. This movement caused countless shocked cries to ring out. Beishishi was receiving the bone blade barehanded. Boom. When the bone blade reached Beishishi's hand, blinding light exploded. It was too blinding for people to even keep their eyes open. Golden light brighter than the sun was transmitting through the formation and covering the entire island. Everyone lost their sight. However, their eyes quickly adjusted and the world slowly grew clear once more. Within the endless golden light, they saw Beishishi's beautiful figure. What when they saw the situation on the martial stage? The entire crowd let out a shocked cry in unison. Chapter 3098 Catching One Beishishi still had a single hand out. However, her hand had now turned golden as if it was made of pure gold. The bone blade was caught solidly in her hand. With her golden dress fluttered around her, she was like a golden goddess, sacred and touchable. As for Lu Ziaoxin, the veins on his arms throbbed as he tried to pull back his blade, but it was ineffective. After that, the dark tiger's roar came from within his manifestation, shaking the sky. The martial stage shuddered and seemed on the verge of collapse. Yet, no matter what he did, that bone blade seemed to have been stuck to Beishishi's hand, and he couldn't even shake it. Suddenly, Beishishi's hand flashed and golden liquid flowed out of her palm. The bone blade was slowly encased, turning golden. You, Lu Ziaoxin was shocked. He then hastily let go of his blade and retreated. He had only just retreated when the golden liquid covered the entire blade. It then dissolved, the bone blade vanishing just like that. As a result, Lu Ziaoxin coughed up a mouthful of blood. That bone blade was connected to his soul, so its destruction also injured him. He was infuriated. That bone blade was extremely important to him. All of a sudden, his arms shook, and two black tiger heads appeared on his fists. Black Chi then erupted out of him like a flame devouring the heavens. Don't force me to kill you. Beishishi simply stood there. It looked as if golden lava was flowing out of the ground beneath her. However, her gaze was completely apathetic. Lu Ziaoxin seemed to be accumulating power for an even more terrifying attack. However, when Beishishi said this, his expression once more changed. In that instant, a dense feeling of death filled him. He could already smell death. That feeling was incredibly intense. For a moment, he didn't dare to move nor continue unleashing his power. But he was also unwilling to simply stop here. Seeing him caught in such an awkward state, 
Long Chen shook his head. This fellow still doesn't understand Bei Shishi's meaning. There's a problem with his head. Bei Shishi had destroyed his bone blade as a warning. If she had only forced him back, he would definitely continue fighting. But by destroying the bone blade, she hoped for him to realize the difference in power and give up. This was only the third round of this stage, and Bei Shishi didn't want to show off her power. However, if Lu Xiaoxin still didn't retreat, then Bei Shishi would be forced to kill him with one of her trump cards, slaying him in the simplest, most explosive method so that he was dead in an instant. A person's trump cards were extremely important in the Nine Prefecture Convention. Once they were exposed, the other side would be prepared, and the trump cards would be less effective. Now, Bei Shishi looked at Lu Xiaoxin, and Lu Xiaoxin looked back at Bei Shishi. A vein throbbed on his forehead as hesitation filled his eyes. He was no fool. He knew what Bei Shishi was saying. If Bei Shishi was forced to reveal a trump card because of him, she would make sure he was dead. Fight? He had no confidence. The sense of danger that Bei Shishi gave him was too strong. Give up? He was unwilling. Although he had lost his bone blade, he had many more powerful moves that he had yet to use. Perhaps there was a chance of victory? He was caught in a difficult situation, with countless experts watching. If he simply retreated like this, he would be turned into a laughingstock. Seconds passed and then minutes. Bei Shishi gradually lost her patience. At this moment, she formed one-handed seals, and a diagram appeared beneath her feet. When that diagram appeared, Lu Xiaoxin's expression changed. He then coldly said, Whatever, I only have a grudge with Long Chen. I'll let you off this time. Go back and tell Long Chen that I will take his head. After saying that, he directly admitted defeat and was sent out of the martial stage, causing an uproar. No way, he really admitted defeat. That's the number one expert of the Dark Tiger Alliance. A primal. He admitted defeat just like that. What is wrong with him? How can he just admit defeat on this kind of stage? Countless people cursed him. Because the clash between Bei Shishi and Lu Xiaoxin was the first fight in the Nine Prefecture Convention between two supreme experts. One was the Dark Tiger Alliance's number one expert. And the other was the High Firmament Academy's number one expert. The audience had all been full of expectation for a world-shaking fight. Instead, they got a fight that had a strong start but a weak finish. However, some of them saw the truth. They had all seen Lu Xiaoxin's struggles. When Bei Shishi's diagram appeared, he directly admitted defeat. That was very curious. It's too bad. That diagram only appeared for an instant. Who knows what happened? As countless people cursed and guessed, Bei Shishi returned to her spot. Lu Mingxuan, Lu Oshua, and the others all congratulated her. As for the High Firmament Academy's disciples on the stands, they let out heaven-shaking cheers. With just one move, Bei Shishi scared off the Dark Tiger Alliance's number one expert and made him admit defeat. That was glorious. Bei Shishi had managed to scare off her opponent. But in the next two battles, Luo Bing and Luo Ning regretfully lost to their opponents. Although their opponents weren't primals. They were truly powerful. Even after unleashing all their power, the two of them were still defeated. They were simply outmatched, and there was nothing to be done about it. Luo Ning was a bit upset at her defeat, but fortunately, Luo Bing was good at comforting her. With their power, just being able to get to this spot was lucky. Luo Xue and Luo Qing also faced very powerful opponents. But the two of them were supreme experts sent by the Luo family specifically to counter the four from the Chu family. They didn't encounter primals, and so they easily defeated their opponents. Mu Qingyan also won her fight, but it was a narrow victory. If it wasn't for the fact that her opponent didn't dare to take the risk in a direct exchange, Mu Qingyan would have been the one to lose. In terms of power, the other side was clearly above her. Mu Qingyan ended up having to pay quite the price to win. She had used up a great deal of her energy, so she probably wouldn't be able to continue fighting. As for Long Chen, his opponent was powerful. Long Chen received 10 of his strongest attacks. Seeing Long Chen only defend and not attack, his opponent realized just how big the difference in power was, as he was unable to even shake Long Chen, knowing that Long Chen had been merciful. He admitted defeat after 10 moves. The third round ended there. 
other than Luo Bing and Luo Ning. Everyone managed to pass to the next round. After one hour of rest, the lots were rolled once more. This time, when Long Chen saw his opponent, a gratified smile appeared on his face. The name written on his tablet was Chu Gan. He, I've caught one. Long Chen smiled. He had been waiting a long time. Chapter 3099 Bei Ziaol fights after this round. The top 500 will be decided. The upcoming fights will be very difficult. They will mostly be primals or those qualified to become primals. Side Mu Kingian. The name on her tablet was that of a primal, and it crushed any wishful thinking she had. In the last fight, she had used up almost all her power, and she had only recovered to 60% now. Against a primal, she had no hope. Thus, Long Chen told her to abandon her match. Although she was a bit unwilling, she listened. She didn't take that risk. I'm also against a primal. Boss, I'm a bit nervous, said Bei Ziaol. He was the luckiest one out of all of them. He hadn't encountered any tough opponents all the way until now. Although you haven't awakened a primal bloodline, your talent isn't inferior to anyone. I expect you to get into the top 16. Can you grow up a little? Long Chen eyed Bei Ziaol. Bei Ziaol was still too childish, and his path before this was too smooth. Now that he suddenly encountered a primal, he was panicking a bit. Moreover, his opponent was quite vicious. All his previous opponents were either killed or crippled. So Bei Ziaol was a bit afraid. Don't worry, this fellow has several weaknesses. Come over here and I'll teach you. Chin Feng beckoned to Bei Ziaol. After his defeat, he had been watching the entire martial stage with interest. Every dragon blood warrior had been led through countless battles by Long Chen. So they had immense combat experience. Chin Feng's sharp vision allowed him to instantly see an opponent's weaknesses. Big sister Luo Qing, your opponent is actually Chu Zhen. Luo Ning looked at Luo King's tablet and was instantly full of apprehension. The Luo family and the Chu family were mortal enemies. If they encountered each other here, it would be a battle to the death. Only one of them would walk out of the martial stage alive. Either Luo Qing or Chu Zhen would be dying. Hence, Everyone's heart clenched. Although they knew that the Luo family had come here specifically to counter the Chu family, now that they encountered each other, it still made people nervous. No need to worry. I have confidence in my own power, said Luo Qing. Long Chen smiled. If Miss Luo Qing can eliminate Chu Zhen, then the Chu family's power will be halved. Halved? Long Chen, you, Luo Xue and the others were confused until Long Chen revealed his own tablet. Long Chen, I'll share a few of the Chu family's disciples' techniques, said Luo Xue. Thank you, but there's no need. It's not my ego, but I never investigate my opponents like that. That's my habit, said Long Chen. These words truly were a bit egotistical, but this was truly his habit. It was a principle he had understood after many years. Just as the old man had said, in front of absolute power, all schemes were nonsense. If you did investigate your opponent and come up with a strategy against them, it showed that you lacked confidence in your own skills. Only people who lacked confidence in themselves would do such a thing. The old man had told him that the moment he investigated his opponents, he had fallen to a disadvantage. This was not the true Marshall Dao. If you lacked confidence in yourself, you should focus on raising your power and not focusing on using schemes. Forming a habit of such a thing would create a dependence on schemes to win. By that point, it would be too late. The path of cultivation was like rowing a boat upstream. There were no shortcuts. When you wasted time considering how to beat your opponent, your speed of advancement would drop. And by the time you figured out your plan, those in the same generation as you would have long since surpassed you. Back then, Long Chen had felt the old man's principles to not be entirely correct. But after the ultimate battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, he felt his words to truly be of the utmost wisdom. Looking back, if he had not used little tricks and schemes to handle his problems and instead used the sense of danger and difficulty as the key to unlocking his potential, perhaps the ending of the Martial Heaven Continent's battle would have been different. Thus, after ascending, he had no intention of going back to that path. Using little schemes against the weak was nothing more than amusement for himself. Against true experts, 
crafty plots were ultimately nothing more than worthless jokes. After experiencing that pain, he corrected his cultivation attitude. Now, he would face his challenges directly. Just at that moment, Bayziol's tablet began to flash. He was part of the first group fighting. Chin Feng hadn't even finished teaching him how to fight his opponent when it started. So Bayziol instantly grew nervous. Seeing that, Chin Feng whispered a few things into his ears. He was barely done when Bayziol was directly transported to the martial stage. Once Bayziol was sent in, Long Chen looked at Bei Shishi curiously. Are you worried about this little brother of yours? Don't be stupid. In this world, I'm only concerned about myself, said Bei Shishi coldly. Novaloon.com Long Chen smiled slightly and didn't say anything. In the instant that Bei Ziyadol was sent in, she clenched her fist slightly. He had just happened to see the subtle change in her expression. Seeing him smile like that as if he was seeing through her, Bei Shishi turned frosty. I really hate people who think themselves smart. I was never planning on having you like me. So it's fine. Long Chen shrugged. Stop fighting. Ziyadol is starting. How are you in the mood for this nonsense? Even Lu Mingxuan couldn't bear watching their petty squabble and interrupted them. Long Chen then focused on Bei Ziyadol. His opponent was a fierce-looking butcher. That expert possessed a tyrannical air, and the killing intent in his eyes seemed to almost condense into a solid form. Just looking at him gave others chills. Bei Ziyadol was clearly nervous. Although he was talented, he had never killed anyone in this lifetime. Because of it. That person's killing intent was very effective against him. Ziyadol is at a disadvantage against his opponent's experience. I wonder if he will be able to beat his opponent, said Lu Mingxuan worriedly. What he needs to do right now isn't beating his opponent but the fear in his heart. If he can do that, the rest will be no problem, said Long Chen. Long Chen was very clear on Bei Ziyadol's potential. If he activated the three flower pupils to their full power. Even gods and devils would shake. That was a divine art passed down from an incredibly ancient time, and it surpassed other people's imagination. Just at this moment, the martial stage shook and the barrier vanished. The barrier had just vanished when a curved blade slashed through the air. The next moment, blood splashed and Bay Ziyadol's body was cut apart. Ziyadol. Chapter 3103 Flower Pupils Manifest That Person Was Too Fast. His afterimage still remained in his original location as his blade slashed down on Bei Ziyadol. With a splash of blood, Bei Ziyadol's body was cut apart. However, his cut apart body then slowly faded. It was also an afterimage. Bei Ziyadol appeared in the air. However, he was in a panicked state. His chest was dyed red with blood. Not good. Due to his fear, the effectiveness of his spatial arts has sharply dropped, said Luo Shue. Bei Ziyadol's spatial arts could be said to be one of the most exquisite of all divine abilities. It was very difficult to track his body, but due to his fear, his spirit was suppressed, creating flaws in his mental state. Furthermore, his opponent's mental lock was very effective. It could be said that Bei Ziyadol had already lost. This person has definitely investigated Ziyadol's experiences and techniques. He started off leaking his killing intent precisely because Ziyadol lacks experience, said Lu Mingxuan. In the Nine Prefecture competition, many people relied on selling information on other competitors in order to make money. Hence, learning about Bei Ziyadol's past was no difficult task. This person was clearly taking advantage of Bei Ziyadol's lack of experience. He wanted to kill Bei Ziyadol in just a few moves and had almost taken his life right at the start. That person once more moved. This time, they saw a line of after images wherever he passed. He was truly fast. Bei Ziyadol was pale. He formed hand seals and his body vanished. That person's blade touched nothing more than air, but he then spun and charged in another direction, slashing his blade again. That was where Bei Ziyadol had just appeared. Bei Ziyadol once more formed hand seals, vanishing. However, no matter how he dodged, that person was able to accurately find his location. That person had locked onto Bei Ziyadol. No matter where he fled, he would be sensed. That person attacked 19 times, and Bei Ziyadol dodged 19 times. On the 19th time, his blade just narrowly passed by Bei Ziyadol's waist, almost bisecting him. 
Luo Ning and the others cried out in shock. Not good. Xiaol's movement art and dodging rhythm have been completely grasped by his opponent. He has started to predict where Xiaol will appear, said young master Chang Chuan gravely. He could tell that this person's last attack had almost landed because he had predicted where Bei Xiaol would appear. He had seen through Bei Xiaol's movements. To be able to grasp his moves in such a short time, this person was definitely an expert. As Bei Xiaol was barely dodging and didn't even have the ability to counterattack, he would quickly be defeated. After all, he lacked experience. When his opponent had fully grasped his moves, he might not even have a chance to admit defeat. With the martial stage protected by a barrier, none of their voices could reach Bei Xiaol. They could only watch nervously. Golden runes even occasionally flashed within Bei Shishi's hands. Clearly, she was not as indifferent as she showed on the surface. After three more slashes, that person suddenly swept out his blade horizontally right where a figure was appearing. Die. This time, it was not an afterimage. When they saw that figure be cut in two, Luo Ning and the others cried out. However, they quickly realized that there was no blood. As it fell apart, they realized that what was cut apart was nothing more than a set of robes. That expert was also startled. He had deduced that Bei Xiaol would appear here. He had completely grasped the rhythm of his movement art. Pow. Just then, a hand appeared out of midair and slapped his face, emitting a crisp and clear sound. After that, Bei Xiaol's figure slowly appeared. Bei Xiaol had actually slapped that person in the face. However, his power wasn't great enough, and all he did was make his opponent's face turn. He didn't cause any substantial damage. Bei Xiaol borrowed the impact of the slap to retreat. He then pointed at that person and laughed. Ha ha ha, little fellow, you were fooled, weren't you? Do you take me for a fool? My spatial art is an innate divine ability, and I'm not restricted by space. Do you think this is like one of those acquired formation spatial arts that requires a set pattern? Ha ha ha, you're too naive. Seeing that person's stunned expression, Bei Xiaol laughed like a child. That arrogant display stunned everyone. This sudden turn came out of nowhere. They had just been afraid of Bei Xiaol being killed. But now he had actually learned how to face slap people like Long Chen. Courting death. As that person roared furiously. Divine light exploded behind him. He had been conserving his power this entire time. Wanting to kill Bei Xiaol with the smallest price. But instead. He was toyed with and slapped. He was so angry that he almost coughed up blood. Ha ha ha. Come. Catch me if you can. If you can't, then we'll both be eliminated together. You slashed me once. And I slapped you once. We're even. Bei Xiaol laughed and then vanished. Enraged. That person chased after Bei Xiaol. But Bei Xiaol repeatedly used his spatial arts. Dodging his saber. His saber was never able to touch him again. Furthermore. Bei Xiaol was constantly provoking him, occasionally reminding him that time was already up. It really seemed like he was intent on eliminating this person from the competition. Now, this person was so angry that his face was green. What did you teach him? Bei Shishi turned to Qin Feng. Qin Feng smiled. It was nothing. I just told him that a heart of fear is the worst thing to have and that he had to think of a way to face it. He has to face his difficulties head on not dodge them. The more afraid he is, the more he has to face it directly. There is no shortcut to becoming an expert, but there is a technique. Right now, you've also seen the technique. It was very effective. One slap directly shattered his fear now everyone understood. In order to overcome his fear, Bei Xiaol had intentionally set up a trap. That person had fallen for it and had been slapped. And with that one success, Bei Xiaol's confidence soared and his fear faded. That person was no longer able to lock onto him. As he furiously chased Bei Xiaol, Bei Xiaol caused space to fold. He was completely unable to touch him. Brat, do you only know how to dodge? If you have guts, face me directly. That person came to a stop and pointed his blade in the air. All right then. Bei Xiaol's figure suddenly stopped as well, and three pupils appeared in each of his eyes. When the three flower pupils appeared, a forbidden energy swelled and filled heaven and earth. 